now we're green. Is green bad? We're below 10% drop frames, yeah. There are a lot of game devs live on the digital tabletop fest right now, so we will not be like the only ones like on Friday. But we'll see if we show up, maybe we'll get rotated to the top. Stop using my mouse. Sorry. It's not me. <laughs> it's not or, me. Am I on Handle Lover Games? I should be on Handle Lover Games. I am on Handle Lover Games. Excellent. So I'll hit the host button. I'll send my tweet out. Dashboard says we are live. And I see our pictures. So seems live. Yeah, it's, it's kind of going red here and there. It's only at 9% in drop frames, which is kind of good. I wonder if there's any other settings on Parsec you can change to, like, reduce the... I, I don't know. On the We're at the bottom of the list on the digital tabletop on Steam. Woo! With zero viewers. <laughs> zero viewers. <laughs> I mean, we just went live, so that's okay. I got just got notification, so we should see our regulars uh, trickle in. I got pinged. Okay, Jeff Dugan said he has company. Yeah. And Frenzy. The streaming tweet. The Twitter noise. I can't exactly do my own tweet in my Discord unless I either hide your video or do it from my phone. Which I is... Can, I can watch our stream on Steam and give us one viewer. <laughs> can I just, like, copy the text of this tweet? Sure. Eh. And too much effort. Then paste. I mean, yeah, I could copy it, but then I'd have to, it wasn't giving me the link, so I would have to type in the link, and that's where I draw the line. Oh, yeah, that's too hard. I end up typing in the wrong link. <laughs> <laughs> so All right, watch well. watch me play the long dark at Hand Lever Games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I did it like twice in a row in two weeks where I Streamed on Handelabra <laughs> instead of my channel. Oh, and you were you were after me for doing that. <laughs> yes, I was. I was after <laughs> you. You should have learned my lesson, John. <laughs> I never noticed you doing it, so I would have got you back. <laughs> well, whenever it happens to Steam more than once, you then start double-checking that you're in the right profile on OBS right before you hit the streaming button, you know. Make sure OBS has an option to be, like, pop up when you press start streaming and be like, are you sure you want to be streaming on this profile? <laughs> and then you start ignoring that request because you just That's get used true. to it. <laughs> you have to type in, I, Lou Dolphin, do solemnly swear <laughs> to stream on a full URL, https colon slash slash twitch.tv slash I mean, it'd be kind of interesting if when you click the start streaming button, it pops up and says, what channel do you want to stream on? That's true. I mean, yeah, instead of having it be like a thing you select in advance have it be a pop-up every time you go live because like you don't like click go live very often on the whole right like once mm -hmm. when you start your stream right yeah but how many people like stream on multiple channels hi right they wouldn't get a pop-up <laughs> because they wouldn't get a pop-up because they don't have they don't have more than one channel but if you do have more than one channel then yeah yeah no that's not good you will write a solemn solemn and Wait, no. What am I sternly to say? worded sternly letter. Sternly worded letter. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> or a sternly worded letter to the producers of OBS with our request. Yes. All right. Well, hello, everyone, and we welcome to... Your function you should add to your hood. Welcome to Spirit Island Saturdays, where we play Spirit Island on Saturday. 
Uh, we are here today with myself, Lou Dolphin, and Migrant P, and Seamus Butler. Say hello. Hello. USA. Hello. USA. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we at Handelabra believe in civil rights for everyone and in being as inclusive as possible so any comments or activity actively working against those goals are not welcome and will not be tolerated. You can follow us at Handelabra Games on Twitch and Handelabra on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. You can follow me personally at LouDolphin21 on Twitter and on Twitch and YouTube it's LouDolphin. No digits. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for it. <laughs> and where can we find you guys? Uh, you can find me on the Discord under the name Face on Toast, also on Board Game Geeks. Um, when I stream, uh, twitch.tv forward slash Seamus Butler. Yeah, and I'm Migrant P in all the places I stream on Twitch uh, a little more often than in days past, and uh, I'm on Twitter and so on. Uh, wanted to give a shout out to people watching on Steam as part of the Digital Tabletop Fest that is going on this weekend uh you might have been tuning in for some sentinels dev stream on friday uh there'll be some more sentinels tomorrow night um and uh yeah lou do you want to talk about spirit island and what that's all about for people who might not know spirit island is an island of spirits period <laughs> well it's spirit cooperative island. destruction game exactly if you've ever played settlers of Catan, this is the complete opposite of that if you've ever played any game of Risk or Dominion, this is the complete opposite of that. We're trying to destroy the invaders who are trying to trek into our new lands. And we control a spirit. Each of us will control a spirit. We can support up to four spirits at one time. And for each spirit we have, the island we control is larger. And with the powers of our spirits, we have to strike fear into the hearts of the settlers and make them feel that exploring and settling into the spirit island is not a good idea. Yeah, send them home. All right, so, do we want to do the, a new game or the quick play? We can do a new game, maybe. We still have all these reduced difficulty options oh, from yeah. the last yeah, time we did this. To, to make it easy, Loot. Come on, make it, come on, <laughs> come on, Loot. Always trying to make it too easy. <laughs> So, I think I'm going to take Vital Strength today. All right. I'm just going to take a Choose board. board. And I'm going to take Vital Strength. And everything else is at your whim. Seamus, what is your whim? My whim is for Sleepy Danger Noodle. Ooh. All right. And I will accept whatever it is that the game decides. That's the one I was going to pick Heart anyway. Of the wildfire. <laughs> we have the two promo spirits plus vital strength. And maybe an adversary. Yeah, what do we feel like tonight? I feel like we've done a lot of Brandenburg Prussia lately. How about some Prussia Brandenburg to mix it up? Prussia Spice Brandenburg, up. let's do it. <laughs> uh, We've done Sweden a bunch. Maybe England. It's been a little yeah, it's more been, of a It's while, been a while, yeah. Let's do England. Um, Maybe like a mid-level. Yeah, I think we've, we've done... Actually, I think we've been doing England with scenarios a lot. Like that one right. fear scenario where we, not fear scenario, but the game we were trying to do fear and we we're playing with England 2 for some reason. Um, right. But yeah, let's just do basing, well, not basing England, but just England no scenario. Um, you yeah. put it at four or five, maybe. Yeah, maybe four. Okay. Four works five for me. Five is rough. Or you keep that pressure with high immigration for the whole game. But five is just unfair. Yeah, five is just mean. And six <laughs> is even worse. I really have no one in the chat. Hey, chat, start chatting. I command you. <laughs> I mean, there are some names in chat. There's at least one familiar name. 
Restream but... says the chat is ready to display messages. <laughs> Maybe there's something wrong with Twitch chat. Terrence Butler can chat. Lou Dolphin can chat. All right, we're going to chat with ourselves. <laughs> Indeed. All right, so England 4 with two promo spirits. Yeah. Yeah, I can't it. exactly chat too much because whenever I go to chat, someone's going to move and click in the game and bring the oh, focus yeah. back to the game. So. I'll probably, like, ban you from the channel or something. All right, the initial explorer is into the wetlands. All right, so I'm northwest. Serpent is east. Wildfire southwest. Who would like to go first? I'm uh... thinking. I guess my presence like causes trouble, so I should probably be going first generally. Unless okay. Snake wants to put presence where I will then blight or something like that. <laughs> yeah, we have this weird uh, thing where wildfire should go first, but then serpent needs to go before wildfire, so serpent goes zeroth. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I can't yeah. actually put in the um one second, let me just take a look. I can't put in a sacred site because there is plate there. Whoops. Mm -hmm. Well, you could move presence and then you could move it and then actually, actually yeah. I'm just looking at it. I will probably actually I want to go into mountain seven so that uh, the ages next time will cover three wetlands. Ooh, cool. So actually, I will do that now. And John, are you OK for me to nom one of your presents this turn? Yeah, I've got the Tower of Power. That's Tower of for. Power. That's why I was thinking <laughs> to ask you ask you first. Um, so I'm going to want early energy. And Mumsy. Cool. So I only get so I one a... card play for a while, right? Yeah. Unless, yeah. well, you nom a pre or not nom, but give me a presence. I don't, no, no one gives me a presence. Here. Never mind. That's not a thing. I mean, it, not, it's this not, that I'm thinking of, on. but we can't do that yet. Listen. Sorry, I don't know what It'll I was be a thinking while of. For that. But <laughs> no, I think I was thinking of green for some reason, but that's incorrect. Um, so like rituals of destruction isn't gonna work too well for me because I can't really move the Dahan and do the damage. Because I was thinking of D1, and that's like danger land. I could draw the fruitful earth and stop. Well, actually, it's not going to stop any builds <laughs> ever. Yeah, I can I can stop D3 by putting presence there. That's probably what I'm going to do. Uh, but, since Seamus is going to be. Well, the be build will still happen, right? Oh yeah, stupid England. Invader England. build actions affect lands without invaders if they're adjacent to two England. towns and cities, and I believe that well, basically could... every land fulfills that criteria except for, like, some inner lands. Uh, C8 only has one town next to it. Yeah. So I could stop that build. And that's maybe it. Yeah, that's it. Then I don't know. Everything's bad and horrible. We should just give up. Yeah, why are we playing England? Who decided on Burn England? It. It all. <laughs> so what's my defend? My defend is only four. Ugh. Three. Well, oh, sorry, you do think this up. defend card is four. <laughs> this, my Earth Vitality is three, yeah. Like... Guard the Isle's Heart plus my Sacred Sight in D1 would stop that ravage. But... Yeah, the thing with green, and this is part of why I chose him, is just because green's cards are inherently super expensive to begin with. And by green? By green, I meant Vital Strength. <laughs> I don't know why green is on my mind. No, I, I did intend for this spirit. I'm not misplaying here. But 
Yeah, Vital Strength has inherently expensive cards. Which generally yeah, means he can take a major power to begin with and forget one of the expensive ones. He's also got a really good energy track. So. He does. Mm -hmm. Not really a good card He basically starts track, with though. major powers, so... Right. Yeah, so I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing between D1 and D3. At best, I could defend D1, D1 next turn, but then I wouldn't really be doing that much. So there's going to be a town there. I could put an extra Dahan in there, or gather a Dahan into there, and then the Ravage would wipe that board. But I don't know. Oh, but my my thing is slow. Sorry. Or no, wait, no. Yeah, if I'm thinking of draw the fruitful earth. Yeah, right. Yeah. You could draw fruitful earth and then like, yeah, defend it next turn. Is that what you're thinking? So I got if I want the sacred site, I have to do at least one presence. So it's going to be this one. I want more card plays. I want more card plays. I want more card plays. <laughs> <laughs> If you say it three times in a row, it comes true. <laughs> Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. <laughs> There's no place like home. All right, it me? It's you. I think I'm still going to go to D3 because next turn I can put another presence there and destroy the town or like use my uh, firestorm to destroy the town. Hey, Vexar. Welcome. I've seen you in the Discord. You mentioned you bought all of our games, so thank you very much, Woo. and hope you've been enjoying them. Uh, hopefully you can get better by watching us get slaughtered by England. <laughs> we'll try to explain what we're doing, but it's Spirit Island is kind of an interesting game because um, it's Ooh. kind of straightforward to determine what a victory condition means, but very difficult to figure out how to actually win a game. Hunts and Embers. Who likes Blight? I like Blight. And it gives you fire and air. I can play a card. Uh, John, I will also be giving you uh, one element of your choice, if that makes sense. Okay. Play. Uh, I don't know that... I guess I could go into A2 and, like, be dealing more damage then. Yeah, maybe D3 is not the best spot. Let's go into A2. It's, like, a bad place, but, like, I can actually, like, do something there. I can probably kill the city, right? Yeah, I can kill the city. It makes them build a new city, but that's fine. What's kind of weird is that part of the wildfire thus far is the only, or at least I don't know about Branchy Claw and Jagged Earth, but a spirit that deals damage during the growth phase. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it's uh, until Jagged Earth that there's another one that does it. So this would give me more damage. Yeah, I need the I need the green the plant to actually do that. So you need green? I I'm sorry, I'm not green. green. <laughs> so I need to play that, and that will let me do more damage and blow things up. Alright, it's fast time. Hey. Yeah, Sorry. Vexar, Spirit Island is like, I think once you get the hang of like the tempo of the game and how the phases work and like the fact that you need to do stuff sort of in advance, uh, it'll become um, more clear. What I guess that element doesn't really matter because it doesn't change anything in my powers, so fire away. Fire, you said? <laughs> oh, my head. Uh, and this is going to be... Unless it makes any difference for Raz and Anger for you, but I think that lets me kill the city, so.
Oh, there needs to be blight there. Uh, uh oh. I hate, I hate everything. Rewind. Uh, Band of font and numbers. <laughs> yeah, but then I don't. It won't give oh, you but enough damage. I, yeah. Yeah, because I can get the plant from. I can get the plant from Seamus. That I was like, I need the plant, but I don't have the plant. But I can get the plant from Seamus. That's what I need to do. All right, I'm just gonna do this again, Seamus. Yep. Give me that plant. Then. I can hush the embers here. Send these fools, I guess, just into the city. Then I can blow up the city. Oh, but I didn't do enough damage then. Mm. Doesn't work the way I want. Flash fries? I, want... I don't know. I don't know what that I can only play now. one card. Uh, and I don't have enough energy for that. Oh, rip. I want to do all the things, but I can't do all the things. I mean, I can destroy a town. If I... I can just destroy a town by going there and putting Blight there. That seems okay. Or I could do this to generate fear. But I need blight there. There's no blight there. I need, I need blight. I need blight to make things happen. Uh, alternatively, I could give you a... Seamus, I could give you a plus one damage to, like, destroy this town or something. I'm not doing damage. Oh. Oh, I am sorry. You're right. You're not? <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, for some reason, my brain is not working correctly. I've been a bit, uh... It's just been a busy day. I think that's that's more value. So let's go over here after all. That's just gonna happen over there. This is pretty normal where John redecides what he does fifteen thousand times in a turn. Wait no, that's me. Actually it's not. That's you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Alright, let's do this again. Down there. Take doesn't matter really. Uh this is going to Thank you for town destruction purposes, and then there's no land where I can use that. I don't know why there's no. Oh, there is a land where I can use it right here. So that's why it's like. It doesn't do anything, flowing. but there is a land. Yeah. Six builds. That's what's going to happen right, for the rest we, of this game. We can't go back now. I clicked it. I clicked it too. You're both to play. Yep. So interestingly, I can stop the build in D6, but not C4. So I have a gather two explorers, and I was going to do something with Dahan and D1, but. Yeah, I mean, if you can actually stop a build, that's, that's rare. One. You can actually get a, a land with uh, three to Han in it. Yeah. Which is useful for your other thing. That's five damage. I would wipe that, so I don't need more. Okay, that's me then. You're still gonna build in C4, and that's like impossible to prevent. But you've stopped D D6. Yay! Yeah, that's cool. So I think right. it's gain a power card for me because I'm already gonna place a presence to make a sacred site. Yeah, as long as you can afford to play the card you want to play. Yeah, I'm gonna guard the healing land. Up in D1? Yeah. Because there's six in there, I can only defend three with my sacred site, so I need a four. Uh, I need more so that I guess you might, will do it. you might find a deep minor defend. Yeah, I could go for minor. 
Oh, you could go for major. I could go for major and forget. I don't know. Well, your perfect stillness is actually good in England because that's true. It, it will because of the always double. stop builds. And now I'm set up for rituals of destruction. So maybe I am going to go for minor then. Hey, defend two. That's like literally perfect. Encompassing ward. Yeah, that's pretty good for games with uh, serpent as well. Give him a break from playing Aegis all the time sometimes. <laughs> and I am vital strength, so I don't care about elements as much. <laughs> and that two is enough, right? So, yeah. Yeah. I think yeah, it's, and that's, that's uh, it. it's a cheaper cheaper way than then if you then you can actually play encompassing word in something else. I get encompassing word C four. Yeah. I want that land. I want that land. <laughs> I can't select this land for whatever reason. It's or not Incumbent Ward, but uh, Year of Perfect Stillness is what I was thinking of. I could Year of Perfect Stillness C4, and then that build is actually prevented. Sure. Or I could Rituals in D7, but... I mean, I am set up for it. And they might explore in the sands, they might not. It would be a good time for it. You can off to side right now, we can do our stuff and then you can change yeah. your card plays. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so right, they built in D3. Uh, if I can do two damage there, I guess I can just send them away with Haunts and Embers too, though. Uh, so you're gonna be Aegising, probably, Seamus? Yes, I am. That defends like sure. those. This is just happening. That's yeah. fine. Um, but I can handle this by killing the town or sending it away. Um, can I get the two card plays? I can get the two card plays. Or I could blow it up by putting a presence there. That actually seems okay. Let's see. Bye. Oh, and look at how much energy I have. My energy is showing. Uh, I only have one card play. And I'm not anywhere that they are. I guess I could uh, send away, I could stop the build here now, because there's only one town adjacent. Yep. So I'll do that. And I'll put Blight there, which is all according to my clever plan. Okay, so... You won't actually stop the build, because if you push the town away, there will then be oh, two yeah, towns next true. to it. Maybe I'll change what I play, but yeah. fine. Fine, loot. Fine. <laughs> um, it would at least stop the city from building, mm -hmm. which, is our, which is valuable. I'll, Unless we want fear. And I, can, and I want to push them into my, like, murder zones, so. True. <laughs> So, sorry, I'm just checking for where Aegis goes next turn. So I can put in where I am, board five, and that'll protect the two jungles on my board. They're not or, building in the central jungles, by the way. Uh, they are building in the one on my board. If I year of perfect uh, stillness, they're not doing it in yeah. C4. But if you're gonna, if you're gonna Aegis that next turn. Right, I guess you could Aegis C1 and C4 if you wanted. Yeah, so I don't need to stop could, that build. Or I could put Presence into Sans 4 on loot board this turn, and that will protect... That will actually only protect 2 anyway, because there won't be anything in D6. It will throw a Defend 3 into... I should probably be... They're not going to build in D6. Four. Yeah, D6 doesn't have any anything, and there's nothing nearby. And I don't think any of those other... Like, the other lands are attacking for too much for Aegis to defend. Yep. I don't know that no, next Ravage is an Aegis Aegis Ravage. Sands or mountains that I need to look at defending. So I think the best place I can go is Wetlands 5 on board A. Yes. Thank you. 
because that way I will convert, I can choose two sands, three mountains. Right. And if you can get me a card play or actually a card play would be amazing. Yes, yes, I can. If you can get me that, then uh, I can I actually prevent the build in uh, in that place. Boon. Is there any overlap? There's Earth. Uh, Snack and. Uh, There's tons of overlap. Anybody has lots of overlap. Yeah, Snake is like all elements except like sun. Okay. <laughs> animal. I, I just saw a lot of colors. I'm like, what are those all, all those elements? But I guess that's a sign. There is a lot of overlap. Great. So, uh, do you want one NG and pay another play another power card by playing its cost, or gain a minor power and play it immediately by paying its cost? Yeah, I mean, as long as I get a plant and a fire. I'm good with whatever, so uh, I have a card that I can play to do that, which I would rather. So it'd be play or elemental boon if you'd rather give that. Like if you'd rather get some elements, then we could do that instead. Um, let me check. It would be plant and fire and then whatever you want. do that which would get you your um, left hand side one for an energy yeah which gets you an energy and me an energy or I would just I would play a card if you rather, would rather not use boon this turn and save it uh, I'm thinking you playing a card is probably more powerful than the elements sure yeah because I get an effect as well so so yep, you, glowing power is good then. So you're happy for that one. Okay. Cool. All right. I think we're good. Unless you want to change your card plays loot, are you happy with your are you happy with your life choices? Yeah, I think stopping C4 is still good, so that can't build. Okay. More defend! Cool. Uh this is how you defend. <laughs> and you want to play a power card yeah just decide which of the two I want to play uh, They, I have two that get me the elements I want uh, basically yeah both of them get me the burn land regrows um and I'm going to get the damage. So what I'm going to do is push Hans and Embers I'm going to use to push these guys into here. And then um, kill them. <laughs> so I could also do this. Or I could, I could destroy a town in the slow phase with this, which is pretty good. This can be hard to use, and it's usually just to fear and push some guys. So, I think I'll do this. And I have so many things now. Alright, so this is going to go here. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter where I send them because they're just going to die. Firestorm... Cool. All right. Take out city. Yeah. Makes sense. Anyone else can do any damage over here? Probably not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They build in many jungle, but not all jungle. Actually, only three jungles they build in. Pretty good for England. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And they're exploring mountains. They explore all mountains. All right. Uh, I have 
removing blight in the land with two or more, which I think is only here. I guess, as long as there's one blight there. I'm happy. I guess. <laughs> uh, one fear, destroy one town, push to Han. If I could reach here, that would be nice, but I can't. Uh, uh, destroy one of the towns in D2? Yeah, probably. There's not really any other town I can see, right? I guess this oh, one. Oh, actually, um, A5. Because I was going to build uh, a city. Yeah. Oh, right, because, right, yeah, that's true. Because of high immigration! Sure. Uh, I mean, you would have been able to do... One damage. Oh, only one damage. That's too bad. All right. You can do uh, it if you want. Stick that somewhere. <laughs> or just click go. Either way. Growth. Ravaging in the jungle. I guess I could stop the ravage in the jungle at the bottom. Basically, I can do two damage placing a presence, so. Right. Um, uh, that takes care of that, potentially. I'm probably going to pull a card and see if I can prevent that one on C1. I don't think I can stop D2 unless I reclaim in Year of Perfect Stillness again or something. I'm not even uh, in range. Or no, I am in range. It's a good term for you of perfect stillness because there's likely whatever... Uh, yeah, it's going to escalate it, in there and it's going to build in there as well. I guess they're building in most of the wetlands no matter what we do. Be building in weapons five. No, they will. There's four. Sorry, the one on John's board. Oh, there's that an explorer in it. There's an explorer there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was stuck on the England rule of that has to be two, three. <laughs> Stupid explorers. He's so probably going like to do them. something. Uh, so I'm, if I'm going to go into this land, I'm beginning a power card. So I guess I'll do that. First. I think I'll start with a minor. I'm still getting zero energy a turn, so I'll stick with a minor power. Uh, add blight. Love to, you'll love to see it. I, still, I want green cards. I haven't found any yet. Uh, drought seems good against England. And I guess we can wait to see if, if anyone else is gaining a card before I put my presence down. Uh, you no one is. Next? I am not sure what I'm doing. If I do energy track, I get one more energy. So I can't currently play both my cards unless I go for gain two energy, but is guard the healing land going to do anything other than remove blight? Because I can't see anything in range that's blight. ravaging, so... Unless, like, someone can add defend or something like that, but I don't think that's... I mean, gift of or middle deeps might get you a card that would defend, but that's a maybe, so. Whereas like rituals will do something, so that's something. Yeah, I'm definitely a ritual thing. You could always look for a free uh, miner. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. I do have another place I can put a sacred site in D6, so it's yeah. not 
I'm not wasting a super sacred site or something. Reaching grasp. <laughs> Honey. Defend two. Three, five, seven, eight. Nope. Even with guard the healing land, I can't protect D2, so that's. And I already have a lot of defense, so I don't need that. And you can't afford that end rituals. Well, if I go off energy track, I would. Oh, that's true. You can go off energy track. But my next turn might be more questionable. Uh, who would get the most use out of reaching grasp? I mean, I guess threatening oh, flames yeah. would just be really good, right? It would be. It's really good because that lets me hit any land with blight with my powers instead of where I am and blight. Yeah, that seems so good. Uh, pretty good. That happens with my right hand. Um... Yeah, it's it's good for both Can snake I... and wildfire, really. So. So, Go I am reclaiming. And I need to move presence. Uh, this can let you go into lands with blight where normally you can't if you want. Yeah, I'm just that. looking at is there somewhere better I can go to defend mountains and there actually isn't. Maybe I like move that one there. Right, it's so in between. See better into here. And um, then, do I want a power card or do I want to place? I want to place presence. So I can choose which one of those two to throw the defend into next. Mm. Um, Lude, can I numb on you this turn? Yeah. And then, does somebody want an extra card play or an extra card? Probably. But maybe I'll see what I'm doing first and then we can decide. Yep. Uh, so I want two card plays, I think. Go in here. Guy's gonna kill himself. That's good. Uh, I guess not both of these need to be here, but they may as well be. I guess they can't get to a mountain, so. Uh, is there a place for drought? I guess up here is pretty good. Uh, or here? Any of the places where they have lots of stuff. Uh, I do have a reaching grasp, grasp. So. Yeah. Well, there's like yeah. I mean, I am next to both of those places already. So. Mm -hmm. uh, like this has three buildings. This this is this is going to have four, and that's going to have four. <laughs> like next turn. Um. So that's handy. If I have extra sun, destroy a city. I don't have sun. I have flame. I can I can get three sun maybe with uh, snakes help sometimes. Uh, right. So with reaching grasp, that's a question of like, can we stop some builds or can we stop some ravages or whatever in the fast phase? I have just noticed something. If I do elemental boom, I want a green in the mountain, and Earth wants a green in the mountain, and then we'd get his first level. Repeat elemental boom. <laughs> <laughs> Which nice. would be helpful. <laughs> That's true. That's pretty sweet. And then I can get the second one to you, John. Cool. Uh, yeah, then I can actually play drought, like I can root blight from a land and play Drought there afterwards. Um, so I'll probably also play Drought now because I'll probably reclaim next turn. Uh, and the question is, do I want Flash Fires? Not super. Actually, it would prevent a build, right? There's only one town next to this. Well, they're oh, going to build in the wetlands yeah, and it, 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 Yeah, they're going to. Yeah, it's true. It won't, actually. And the, the uh, 
high immigration build is now going to make this a lot harder. Yeah. All right, well, this will do something. There are lands with invaders and blight like this one and this one, so. Uh, cool, and then, yeah, basically if I get, I have this already, these already, I can't get, yeah, if I had another plant, then that really powers up. Oh, if I have the if I have the air, I can split the damage, which is nice. Not super great though, right? Because there's only like two lands where that's that's the case. Well, it's between target land and any land with your presence. Oh, but I need the yeah. I can get the green from you, right? Yes. If I get the green and an air and whatever from you. Um, how do you do that? You only get the. You won't be able to remove, remove any blight because it's from a land two. Oh right. Well, I I can make there be a land two, but yeah, <laughs> there don't necessarily be. That's true. Yeah, we'll want that to be the second one. Yeah, that's fine, I guess. We'll do that. Oh, wait. You want to play another card? Yes, which Elemental will be Doom. Elemental Doom. Okay. Okay, let's go. So, if I remember this right, I'm going to go leave this to Earth. Who wants a green... And a mountain. He's going to get a free oh. element also from Absorb Essence, so you might want to do that first in case there's different mm -hmm. elements you want. That's I think he one. needs that anyway, though, as part of it. So I'm. But I mean, I guess you're already giving a plant to Wildfire. So, yeah. uh, which of your uh, presents am I nomming? Um. Probably. D. Well, I'll just click it. How about that? <laughs> I, I don't know what number it was. <laughs> <laughs> so the the, the shields are guarding the number of the land. Ooh. Yeah, if you don't want to hit second yeah. level, then it's mountain. <laughs> right. Is second don't level going to be point. better than repeated boon? Maybe not. But that means he could absorb essence twice. That's kind of fun. Yeah. That might be better than the alternative. So, I mean, I don't have to do the thing I was going to do. It's not the end of the world if I don't. Uh, and... Are you going to hit that? Yeah, so I'm just trying to figure out the third, if I want a specific thing for the third one. Mm. Uh, I'm going to say fire. Okay. Oh right. So instead of instead of absorbing again, boon again would actually let you get the second level of your thing. Ooh, we so should give me a presence clay. Right. It only yeah, it's only on, you. Yeah. It's only on you, but it's still pretty good. Presence clay. Um, which would people prefer? That doesn't answer the question, but that's happening yeah, anyway. I mean, <laughs> that also includes letting me do my stuff that I was thinking of doing, so that's probably better than absorbing again, unless you really want to absorb again, I guess. Uh, I don't mind waiting. I don't have enough presents out at the moment to... Uh... Sure. So let's do Boon, then. Right. So we're doing Boon. So I just need basically green and then whatever you want. Right. Plant, I guess, and then whatever you want. Which I think is water um, and earth. Yeah. Nice. Very cool. Okay. And then, right, reaching grasp, I guess, is going to me, probably. Uh, yeah, your firestorm gets to go places. Yeah, and this affects all of your powers, right? Yes. Yeah. Nice. Uh, interesting. Uh, 
interesting. So, yes, it would let me actually. Oh, there needs to be blight and invaders. So, that's not many places. Uh, they're building in that. Mount. They're building everywhere, anyways, right? Because of the. Yes, but the wetlands A, if you push stuff out of there, will stop a city being built. In here? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's what I was thinking as well. I could also, like, deal damage there. <laughs> Instead of... I don't get to do the split, so this is just in one land, two damage. So instead of just... Oh, this guy's going to die anyways. This guy's going to build anyways. So I could destroy a town here. Um... Right, that's better than yeah. Just destroying an explorer for nothing. Uh, oh. Oh. I can destroy the city by doing two damage to it here. Oh. <laughs> and I mean, I could keep them from building the city, or I could allow them to build the city and like destroy all the towns. That would be a lot of fear. Cause I was... Yeah, because there's a gonna one away from there. a fear card. <laughs> yeah, I will get the fear card by this is just too fear. Oh, right that gives you so. fear right yeah, so you don't need to destroy a town right now, good. Yeah, I'd love that in somewhere else. Yeah, there's not a lot of places. It's like here, here, or here, or here. <laughs> so it's not like a huge thing. I kind of oh. like, I don't mind having this guy here because I'm here with Blight. It's like he's he's on borrowed time, right? Yes. So, <laughs> uh, uh, so I think moving them out of here would be like good, except I'm going to use Drift there and destroy all the stuff. So except the one, there'll be one city left, basically. So I think just like moving this guy out because that'll make the defend easier there, I guess. And he can go in where loot is going to kill everything. Yep. All right, we get a fear card. First fear card. Hey, that would have gotten rid of that guy. <laughs> uh, I don't know that this... Oh, yeah, we can actually stop the build here. Yay! Right? And uh, that I stops mean... the build here. Right? Look at this, look at these cascading effects right here. Yeah, it would stop A6 as well. Yeah, because it's only the city in A1, they're not building in A5, and there's nothing in A7 and A8, so. And yeah, then if we, do, we also do D1, that will prevent a city being built. Yep. Yeah, they just built a town. Yep. This doesn't stop, that doesn't stop. Actually, that would stop? This oh. wouldn't. Oh no, it would. It would because of high migration. Would still. Right. Yeah. 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 yeah that, that works. Excellent. Very nice fear card. All right. Build. 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 Five builds, which is one fewer than expected. All right. Ravages. Island's still healthy somehow. Despite John's best efforts. Five builds, which is one fewer than expected. <laughs> I'm adding blight in the slow phase, but I'm also removing blight in the slow phase. Uh-oh, this is dangerous. Ooh, two in a row. That actually can... It's dangerous, but also potentially advantageous if we can clean out the well, mountain. Well, it's the Ooh, high immigration so, uh, followed by a ravage in three so turns. Build on the land for the most... Uh, John, would putting it up in C8 be easier for you to kill stuff off. Oh. Uh, <laughs> that looks weird. No I was going to look and then my, the mouse moved on me. Oh, sorry, that was me. Yeah, that's what happens I, when I both Seamus and John use the mouse at the same time. Uh, I mean, that's closer to me, so that's easier, yeah, probably. And yeah, okay. C1's going to build again right away, so probably there. Though that is a city, right? If they build in there. Yeah. C2, they build a town. C2, they build a town. C1, they build a town. Well, they're building a town in C8, right? Yeah. Oh, that's C8, they build a town, too. 
So, yep. yeah, I think C8 is fine because I can just blow it up with drought. Yep. It doesn't have uh, blight there yet. Uh, mountains. Year of perfect stillness is going to be good for a while. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna so rituals. rituals. Oh, it's it's too bad there isn't another place with more Dahan because yeah, it would be really good in one of those mountains right now. Yeah, none of these have Dahan, and this won't clear the board. So I'm just gonna do it. In the sands, that isn't even a threat, but... It's not a threat yet. <laughs> and you have two damage from Serpent Rouses, I think. Yes, I do. No, I have three damage. And you may push. Three, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. But it's rain zero, and... Basically, DC5 is like the only place, right? Yep. And then you. Oh, you can add presents. So you could add presents to somewhere you want a serpent. You want a serpent rouses. Aha! Do it in the other order. <laughs> Watch out! It switched the order. <laughs> I just noticed that. When he clicked oh, the rewind button, it swapped Serpent Wakes and Serpent Rouses. Oh, it, sw it swapped the powers. Ah. <laughs> Trixie. And you get an any or a water. Any energy? Wow, that's pretty good. Yeah. You can get it twice. Um, that means, like, twice on unlimited map. So. And I'm not restricted by Blight this turn, so I'm going to go into this jungle. Wow. Well, actually, should that I kill is... the... Um, A mountain would be city good, right? A1. Yeah. Killing that city in A1 would actually be worse. Not now. Oh, is that? That's new, isn't uh, it? That's not new. You can decide to not get your any right now, but you can, like, you probably want to get it right now is why it pops uh, up. I'm well, no, what I mean, that. like, every time it had an any, it was always, like, just a thing on the side as I click an element and no one ever noticed it. Yeah, well, this is, that's because you're revealing it as part of another power. Oh, okay. That's why it says. Because uh, yeah, there I mean, might be a threat. enough to get me uh, the third level. But you can get another moon for your damage, right? Uh, no, city. it's fire and earth for the damage. Um, oh. That getting a moon it would be fear, except it needs to be four moons for the next fear. Oh, okay. uh, I do, there's actually nothing I get from the uh, element. So the reason why that pops up, Lude, is it's because, because it's in the it middle could, of the power and it could affect it the... It could uh... enable the threshold of the power. Yeah, I realized that just then, yeah. Uh... I think you can push there's you can push that town into A2 safely, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, plus the high escalation, but you're gonna drought in that, so oh, it's fine. How about it, John? Yeah, I'm droughting it. So well first I'm gonna do this. And then I'm gonna do this. Hold on. Unfortunately, we don't have any more damage, but that was pretty good. We got another fear card just in the slow phase. <laughs> and I'm probably reclaiming. I don't have to. I, I have could gain another no card, but I think I'm probably going to like play drought like every turn now. So there's enough pot spots that I need to. So if I put a presence in D5, and I use encompassing ward. Then we don't need I don't we don't need like Aegis there. Although you might be Aegising anyway because that touches another land. Maybe D seven. I mean. Yeah, uh, I basically put it in there so I can Aegis either D seven or A five, and it'll cover three mountains. So people can decide where they want me to stand. Hmm. And I have two, four, five, six, 
five. Uh, I'm just going to take the mouse for a second to see my board. Oh, I can have up to eight uh, presents, so I'm okay for now. Although, if the island gets blighted, then it becomes a lot easier to get your presents out. <laughs> yes, the island is getting blighted. FYI. Yeah, because you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna add a presence. Oh, well, actually, I won't be adding presents if I regain reclaim cards. But there's certainly wait, what the ravages we have? Hmm. I'm thinking of well, I'm kind of trying to control the places that are going to make us lose, like D2 that has four buildings right now and is going to build the fifth, and maybe escalate into the sixth. I could. So, I could stop probably gonna that this there. turn, but I'm probably gonna play drought there. So I'll like see if I can remove the blight there first, and then play drought on it. Okay. That would be my goal. Well, if I guard the healing land for the blight removal, that helps you. But I don't know. That's expensive. I have my own. I have my own blight removal. Yeah. It is fast blight removal though, so we could postpone the uh, blighted island maybe. But it's not stopping the ravaged blight. It's just removing blight. Yeah, we don't have to. We if I, or don't I could place just, presence. Wait, where's placing presence is what would blight the island here, so we can do that next turn instead of this turn. Yeah. Or like if we blight in the slow phase, whatever, or in the mm -hmm. ravage step, that's okay. Uh, D five is probably where you want to play guard the healing land, right? Maybe I don't know. Well, but it's. it's I don't know. Cascade. Yeah, yeah, that would. I mean, I was first thinking of putting a presence there and using. Um, oh, but that's not. He's encompassing you Aegis that, Seamus. Well, you can't Aegis both. These three mountains and these three mountains is the thing. Oh. I, I can Aegis which one, one or the other. But if I use Unless guard the healing in D five. Can let him repeat it. Ooh. Oh, that would be silly. That, that sounds fun. And that would uh, defend all of those places. Yes, yes, it would. And he can help you out with Boone if you don't have the elements. <laughs> or with yeah. either Boone or with one of the cards that gets gives you a card player elements or whatever. Fruitful right? Earth and Rituals should do it then. That's that's one sun, that's two earth, two plant. And then, yeah, that triggers that. Okay. Oh, you have two Aegis plays covers all the mountains? That's really good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we're prepared for that. Um, No one else has any Dahan movement cards, right? I placed... I, when I placed Presence, I moved Dahan, but it also adds Blight. Because <laughs> <laughs> I could try to, you know, do a ritual somewhere, but it, it, unless there's... If, unless there's already a Dahan there and I can gather two into it, it's not going to work out too well. I mean, it's still going to be useful for next turn because they're ravaging the mountains again. Yeah. Well, they're going to... So, like, you could do they're it They're going to build like, and C then ravage. <laughs> C7, you could, like, bring Dahan in from around it, potentially. C7 is this one. Okay, well, I'm definitely doing this. Where do I want my presence to be? And what presence do I want? This is what, four energy? You kind of want to get up to six energy so you can play two of your three cost cards each turn. Mm hmm. I want to probably not do a sacred site just yet, but I could set up for a sacred site for the next Ravage build cycle, and then we don't have to worry about at least one of those. Um, yeah, how far can I go? Like... Go to here. That's pretty good. That's a good spot. It sees a lot. And it's being defended, so yeah, I can just go there. Did you have a ritual spot? I guess you could rituals like up in like the top mountain. Um, like, if I don't do rituals, neighbor... I could year of perfect stillness. No, I can't. 
What do I need? I need I need three elements. Yeah, oh, right. rituals, rituals is the only one that rituals. gets me that. But there's a like there are some lands with one or two Dahan that have what one or two or one nearby. Yeah, so there is something organized. I can rituals. Yeah. It's just not necessarily going to be a mountain. There are mountains like uh, C there, one. Okay, there is a mountain. <laughs> I'm gonna, there is a mountain. I'm not going to speak anymore. John can <laughs> ask the questions and then answer them in the same same breath. Is there? <laughs> yes, there is. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna reclaim and gain power card. Uh, still a minor because I'm plus zero energy. Plant. It has a plant. And Dahan pushing. And blight removal. This one has a fire on it though. And look at that combo, wombo combo with my other thing that does one damage to each. Yeah. Pretty but, good. and bear with me on this, Call of the Dahan Ways. All right, that was my weekly reminder that Call of the <laughs> Dahan Ways is my favorite card. <laughs> that card exists, then it's there. Uh, so what I was going to play is Drought. Flash Fries, Drought. Here. Because they're building a town that destroys all the towns. Uh, I... I'm not getting reaching grasp, right? No. So I can't do more damage there. That would be lovely if I could do more damage there. If I do drought and then flash fries, that's not enough damage. Uh, John, can I just look at my cards for a second? Yeah. Or if you could uh, let me play another card, that would be that would be great. I will be able to let you play another card. I can give you one energy and play a card, or you know, draw minor power and play pay its cost and play. Right. I could also play uh, Reaching Grasp if that would help things. But that doesn't help you get more card plays. Also Unless you, you repeat the gift of flowing power. But the bird doing it on ages or not. Yeah. Oh, and I don't have Oh, I guess you you could let Lude play Reaching Grasp. Yes, I could. And then that could then that I could play Quicken. Range two. Nice. And do one damage to each of them, and do one damage to each of them with this. Uh, and do damage with my power and like completely wipe that. Yeah. Area. That seems probably good, assuming I can remove. I mean, if I if I cause a cascade, you know, these things happen. These things happen. We're not gonna so, point uh, fingers. We have the double mouse effect oh, again. Sorry. You, sorry, so, John, you. when you uh, did, um, what's it called when you're like checking to make sure your game works even with silly user effects? Did you account for two mice in this in two different or one mice in two spots at once? clicking i did not <laughs> i also need a i need a, I need a i think flames very much i i wanted to play quick in the earth struggles but i think i'm going to play that another turn because i need i need a green okay two green i need two green i only going to get one i'm going to probably cascade there and then remove one of them after my clean up after myself. I will say that since we're playing with Heart of the Wildfire on England 4, blighting the island is inevitable. <laughs> it's true. It's just a matter of when. It's all, it's happening in the slow phase, right? So that's the that's the trick. Yeah, so we avoid destroying our presence or forgetting a power right away. But I'm not worried about it this game because for one, we have Serpent that can give presences at some point and for two i'm vital strength i place a presence every round major power major power land thrashes in furious pain i looked at that went oh my <laughs> that's got <laughs> good elements for me also a really and, good effect. you know i can do that my goal is to have a blight on every land, so watch out. 
<laughs> I, I wait, how just many? Fight this, but I'm okay. Actually, no, I'm not going to forget that. I'm going to forget. So the other side of the blight card is either four per player or five per player, right? And the front side is two. Mm, yeah. So Maybe. it is impossible to have the entire land blighted or entire board blighted without losing the game. Sorry, John. Uh, I don't. There are ways to get blight that don't come from the blight card, I think. But I don't know if that's in the core game. I think Heart of the Wildfire adds blight that isn't it, from the blight innately, card. Innately, yeah, the blight that Heart of the Wildfire places is not from the blight card. But yeah, at so best, that's, that's at best we have seven per player, so there's 21 blight but 24 lands, and you've only put two extra, so. Fine. Sorry, John. Fine. I can still have my goal. <laughs> <laughs> you can work towards your goal all you want. I will just try to yeah. win the game before you destroy the game. As long as we win before the light counter goes to zero on the blighted side, we're fine. Bonus element. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out do I want to take the green or the earth. Oh, right, for more damage. You don't have to decide now. You can decide in the slow phase. Yeah, that's fair. All right. Okay. So, gift of strength, the serpent! And that pin goes. Uh, it just goes burn. <laughs> Oop. Well, I'm sorry. Are you ravaging mountains this turn? My bad. <laughs> no, no, they're not. Uh, so, am I giving the gift of flowing power to John? Or to... Uh, to Lude, I think, so he can play Reaching Grasp. So you can reach Which allows me to do more blow up, blowing up things. All right, and I'll go ahead and play Guard the Healing Land to remove a Blight. <laughs> I am support. I, I am support Fury on this myself. game. And Firestorm in this land. Three damage remaining. So what I'm going to do is two damage to this city and one damage to that city. Growing sense of unease. Defend one per Dahan. Land. Well... Okay. Okay. That's doing nothing. You got more armors on the board. Yay. Bye. Wait. Oh no. Right. Okay. That was high immigration build. Okay. We're fine. Yeah. Regular builds now. Hey, they didn't build in that mountain here. Nice. They explore in the jungle. All right, it's mountain jungle time. We should have taken those powers that were about mountains. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have a choice uh, in, in board C. It's going right to be a city wetlands. in either place. Uh, I mean, this one's next to me. It doesn't have blight, yeah, but I, I can, can I can fix that. Yep. I guess the jungle is like gonna tip these cycling so we don't want that I guess below that jungle is probably the next target wow horror jungles yeah you're dealing with d2 right John <laughs> uh, yeah is there a land oh there isn't a land with two blight but there's going to be one second let's make it happen Burn all the things. One damage remaining. Boop. Nice. And oh, the no. once healthy island has become blighted. We got the presence destruction one, which means we have more blight, so that's good. So I click here, then 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 I click. And we do this 13 times and we see how this slows down the game or something. <laughs> I've never had it slow down the game, but apparently that happens to Frenzy. All right. Now I wonder, we're I wonder if it happens on like lower end line. machines or something. I don't know. All right, so we're back to fifteen on the card. It's fine. So remember when we were talking about C one and how I could do mm -hmm. rituals there? I mean, I yeah. technically could put three Dahan in there, but what purpose would that serve? <laughs> More fear. 
Oh, is it actually more fear? Oh, it is more fear. Okay, more fair damage. enough. And more damage. Well, I am already doing enough damage without yeah. the Dahan, but I forgot about the fear part. If you have a better place, then by all means. Uh, uh, right, so what are the most to... dangerous spots right now? E2 has three. C8 has four. Serpent's Neither able of those to destroy have... stuff. Dahan. I guess that mountain A4 is probably good. You can stop them building a city there. Yep. Which one, sorry? Uh, Seamus can do damage to towns and cities. Oh, I thought you were saying a particular thing. I mean, it probably still makes sense to do it over here in C3, actually, but... I said one, but this is one. See, there's a one right there. Oh, I guess, yeah. There's okay, a three true. that's obscured. <laughs> you, we all knew what we were talking about. Yeah. I like that land because that gets us a fear card. We're going to get a fear card that, for next turn by doing that. So. And it will stop, like, the high immigration is not going to put a city there then. Yeah. Which, I mean, if... if and also, you can Seamus bring Pulse Explorers in. Next turn. Oh, yeah, and yeah, I can do that. That works. Yep, so it's actually... All right, good. Makes Excellent. it easier to defend the other land. Fear card. Just me that rouses. So I can get to crank here. <laughs> and... All right. Are you aging next turn, Seamus? <laughs> or this turn? Yes, yes, I'm claiming this turn anyway. <laughs> you you, well you get have a reclaim, reclaim one, one, don't you? Yeah, but I need to do a claim anyway. Okay. Okay. Put your Actually, presence in one of these places with lots of buildings. <laughs> um, you're right. I don't need to do a claim one. Ah, uh, which means presence. Do a claim one. Um. I want to go over here. Can't oh, no, that's light. light. That's not my plan. <laughs> um, you can go. You can move your presence into there from the jungle. Yeah. I'm just going to put my presence in here like this. And then. Do I take just the reclaim one, if be that and big boom in slow phase, or letting you guys? How many presents? Or oh, no, never mind. On Splite, it doesn't matter anymore. I mean, it matters. Could also gain another power card that's going to give you some yeah. other options. Mainly, I want to. Oh, look, it's the snack card. <laughs> snack card. Uh, elemental Aegis. Oh, playing Aegis. I don't want to play the Snack card or the Big Boom. Is there a valid mm -hmm. target? Or not valid target, but a good target for... There's only that. 3 damage going into there. D2. Uh, it's 4 damage. It is. 5 damage? 5, five damage, damage, yeah. Two, actually. That kills the buildings. Yeah, that's good. And what do you need for the um, threshold? You're not getting that, though. We can't give you elements, but... Three moon, three earth. He's, um... Oh, he's like one away from getting it. <laughs> That's pretty good. Actually, if you played Gift of Power instead of Aegis, you would get the threshold. That's true, but can we... I mean... Yeah. Well, they're not building, so... There's this land is like a little bit of damn like they're building a 
town and ravaging there. There's this I one that's a lot. I can deal with C7 myself. This one? Yeah, if I do or... Sacred Sight plus guard the healing land, 3, 5, 6, 7, plus a town is 9. And I would also need Encompassing Ward, so actually that would be a bit difficult. But I could Year of Perfect Stillness it if needed. My presence is in there, which is why I'm more worried about right. that. And also... I mean, the Aegis is probably a good idea, but we're probably not going to repeat Aegis, or are we? Um, can this turn? If I gain no. a power, I might be able to. If I reclaim, I definitely can, but... So, one switch to that. Oh, you still have an any, but that's not going to help with the... I mean, it would, actually, if you could give yourself an earth, yeah. I would have to give myself the earth to... Uh, yeah, start. Yeah. so can we get away with this, then, is the question. There'll be a lot more blight on the island for that to do more damage. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, then, you would use that on, like, D2 and D5 and, like, blow them all up because of all the blight around. Yeah. Um, there is going to be cascading, which is going to be deleting some presence. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm not you guys have a lot. Because, you know, that just means they don't have to absorb more from you guys. Huh? Oh, wait, I would still want to absorb at least one more from each of you anyway, but. Right. So I start giving you guys presence plays. But... So, like, this one would blight, like, into here, cascade into here. This one doesn't cascade. There's actually just the one cascade, right? Yeah. Yes. So. Yeah. And loot stands to lose a couple of presents right now. And you would lose one here. So it's not the end of the world. So I can actually, like, come in and blow stuff up if you're going to lose the presents anyways. <laughs> For example. Yep. I mean, I do have means of saving my presents, but... It is a question of, is it worth saving my presence? Yeah. Uh, where would I jump in to do two damage that would do anything? The problem here is they build, right? After they build anyways? Yeah. Yes, they do. So that's annoying. Um... They don't hear. And anywhere else, loot is there and won't like me coming in all the right Jenkins. Uh, jungle 4 is fine after just killing one of my presents. Right, but I mean, I don't know if I, I care more about the mountains right now. Yeah. With what they're doing. That's what I'm looking at mostly. Uh, but I could go there. Because that would prevent a city being built. That's true. How about I gain a power? Sure. And then we decide what that means. So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead. Um. I do have the energy to support a major. But are these all good cards now? <laughs> Your perfect stillness stops high immigration still, which is something we should think about. Um, or not high immigration, but uh, escalation. You think encompassing ward this turn? Yeah, it's just not really going to be enough. Three, five, seven. Yeah, so even not going to be enough for the A. Yeah, so that's something you could forget, right? Oh, I see what you're saying, is I can forget Encompassing Ward. Okay. Blazing Renewal. Blazing That's Renewal! That's kind of the card we need. <laughs> this game. Add two of their destroyed presents, and hey, we're blighted, right? It's got my picture on it, though. Yeah, and it's also fire for you. Sorry, I stole your it's card. fire and green. It's really good. Maybe, uh... 
we'll get the, the card that lets us trade cards, and I'll get that from you later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's definitely Blazing Renewal. And with Blazing Renewal, I no longer care about my destroyed presence. <laughs> um, and if you take energy, you can play two cards. Uh, does anybody actually have destroyed presence yet? Not yet. Think... Uh, I mean, I can make, I can get you some destroyed presence <laughs> if you want. <laughs> Um, in the meantime, you can do it in the fast play, so Lude can play I can do it in the spirit phase. I can do it in the spirit phase. I can do it in the fast phase. I can do it in the slow phase. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> that was the funniest thing I've heard. I can destroy <laughs> one of your presents. <laughs> I can oh, destroy boy. as much of your presents as you want. Does this actually help with repeat at all? No, I'm not gonna have enough uh, plant or sun. One way or another. Yeah, you'll be one short. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that lets me like come in Leroy Jenkins on any of your lands, basically. So. Like probably C7, where you just have one. So when a blight is placed, does that destroy presence from all spirits? Or yes, a one per each spirit. One per spirit. Okay. Ooh. Um, this is range zero, right? So. Hmm. I'm thinking about where I'm putting my presence. It has to be where my presence is. Oh right. Yeah. So if you're getting a blazing renewal, I will probably. I would probably put presence in C7, I think. I think that probably makes sense, because I can... Because your presence is there. Mm -hmm. um, or I could go on, like... Uh, it doesn't need to be you, I guess. I could go in on uh, Serpent as well. I'll just um, do that. Okay, I mean, doing that isn't doesn't go along with what I was saying, but... I thought okay. you said C7. That's C7. Yeah. Because you have one there, oh, and okay. that's why I would go there, because you have one there. So you two. said I would go there. I interpret it as if I were, <laughs> if I were I'm Vital Strength, I would put the presence <laughs> there. But you're saying I, uh, Wildfire, am going there. Yeah, I think like D6 This is, is the flaw of the thing. English language here. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay, C so D6 is safer for you, I think. Yeah, and unless I'll you want to deal just like with the build ravage a stack somewhere, turn, yeah. Like you can build a stack somewhere that can survive being ravaged and stuff, right? Potentially too. Yeah, but this does help with a ravage next turn at least, so that's worthwhile. I guess the other thing yeah, is to consider, fair. like, if I'm gonna use guard the healing land, that would care oh, about that's a true. Yeah, perfect site, stillness but... is actually really good. You, that's how you could stop that cascade in D5, right? But do we want that cascade to happen for land thrashes? Do we need it? We don't need it, right? Two, three, four, five, we already have it. But they're going to build a town. Yeah, I mean, we might want the cascade. I don't know. Um, there's going to be another town in there. And land thrashes does... Two, three, four... Is there four. a place where... Either of the builds is also going to occur where the escalation will occur for Year of Perfect Stillness. Uh, D5, right, is the most populous land on the board. Well, tie, it's a tie. I guess wherever you block with Perfect yeah, Stillness... Yeah, but they're going to build in D8 still, and then that would be escalated. Unless you blow up the stuff in the land. Like, you could arrange that D5 is the the only one with two buildings. If you blow up, if you blazing renewal into... Oh, like, if you blazing renewal into somewhere and kill them. Okay, I see what you're saying. But, All right. Yeah. So I don't know if it's D5 or if it's D8, like, whichever you rather. I guess, right? 
you could probably just save either one of them. I don't know how much damage renewal does. Two to two, each building. Two to each. Right, so you destroy a town. Mm hmm. And then if Serpent happens to be there, Serpent can finish it off. Or I could finish it off if I happen to be there. Or whatever. Uh, so what am I doing? This is just going to happen, probably, right? Because uh, even if I, like, kill those guys, they come in and blight it anyway. They build and blight anyway. Um, unless I can, like, kill all this also, in the, or yeah. enough of this in the fast phase. Which, I mean, it's not that I can't do that. <laughs> do you have better things to be doing? Yeah, I could be, like, pushing things, or I could be whatever. I could do this. Or be dealing with uh, C8. Yeah. I think the other stuff is... C8? Is that... Oh. This. Right. That white land. That's true. They're escalating into there. There's only four buildings right now, so it's not... I don't know if it's the end of the world. Yeah. Actually, making your way over so you could deal with C1 would probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Right. Because there's well, a I can go here. range 3, so I can go right into there. But it does okay. cascade if I do that. <laughs> that's, I, can't go into, I can go in here without cascading, so that's kind of nice. Or into here without cascading. Uh, we do need me to destroy presence at some point, so uh, I guess, yeah, they still build here, right? So maybe I go in here and like use one of my powers that adds blight into here to destroy presence or somewhere else. And kill this so they don't do too much there. I don't know. Let's try that. So I can gain energy instead of a power card and maybe next turn gain a major. You can get to three card plays. Who needs to get new energy? I'm getting new energy my own way. If uh, I play if I blazing renewal oh I guess we're not doing that in C A. But if we were it damaging the two cities once would be better. Oh, yes. oh, did you want to renewal into there? Sure. That Yeah, then you just clear that, right? Yeah. Yep. Up to range then 2 from your presence. So you have to leave my presence in C7, though. No. Because otherwise I okay. can't see C8. Oh, yeah. Uh, I can destroy your presence. Well... Right, we have an order of operations problem. Then, then I mean, then I have to do this here. I have to go in there. <laughs> uh, unless it doesn't matter any, whose is, presence it is, right? This is range two, one. That's true. It can be uh, serpent's presence. So, that's true. Mm -hmm. We can like, I can, I can do like the city prevent there. Yep. Um. I also have defend 10. That's a thing I have. I'm not in anywhere where I can do that, but it's weird. Uh, let's, this is going to be useful. Do that. Uh, this gets me plant. I want the, the plants basically. That. So let me split that, which seems good. Nice. I have five fire, so I can do two damage, so I can kill this town, so they won't build a city, maybe. I suppose. You good with that? I'm good with that. I ain't afraid of no blight. <laughs> All right, so I need to blow up someone's presence. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that's going to be Hans and Embers in here. Okay. 
oh, sending no, them probably to the sea, unless you want them to be like in your land so you can hit them. Uh, yes, I'm into my land at the moment. And the explorer can go to the sea. Maybe here. But all of that is land sea. But um. What about here? That he gets killed, right in the ravage. No, they'll build he there. Killed. Well, no, they. Yeah, I mean, he would there. still die, but they build there, and he does like one out of two damage to one of the Dahan, right? So. Yeah. So they kill a Dahan, and then the Dahan's right back and wipe that land. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So I think that. I mean, I'm not gonna push the town there, but push the. Yeah. And I guess blazing would be blazing renewal ahead. on Please serpent. Click a land, like anywhere on the board, because Serpent is everywhere. We just teleported nice. your presence. <laughs> We're going to get an another fear card. <laughs> and uh, so I can Threatening Flames and Firestorm. Uh, I hope to, I've never gotten to the thing if there are no such adjacent lands, but I do want to someday. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of tough. Yeah, you need to like surround the land. Uh, yeah, Firestorm is good here because it stops them building. But actually, I could just like, it doesn't stop them building a, it stops them building a city basically. Yeah. Is there anywhere useful that I could like, Firestorm to actually do something besides that? I guess is the question. Uh, here, has to be your presence. Right. Yeah, that's true. It's I don't have reaching grass, so it's here, or here, or here. So yeah. I guess it. It's, yeah, so it's not the most. I mean, it's spread useful. between your lands, right? So you'll basically. Yeah, but there's only like three. There's only this and this and that. So. Yeah, so you have like seven health of things to take out. Or is it only towns? Or is it only towns? Uh, it's two damage because um, you. Didn't... It's only two damage, anyways, because uh, yeah, oh, that's okay. true. So I could have split. I could have clicked explorers, I guess, but that's not really. And here I can push guy. I mean, I guess I could have pushed the town away instead and then killed explorers, but I'd rather get the fear. And because we actually, this lets us get the fear card right now. Uh, Does that get us the terror level two? Yep. Yeah. Which is funny because this would let us push more. Actually, yeah, I should be able to push two things because of that. Not that it matters. <laughs> Uh, this is a funny card because it's like I don't want to push things out of my lands normally. I just want to burn them yeah, in my land. Push the town out of D3 into D2. Oh, you know what we could have done? Threatening Flames these, this town over here for Blazing Renewal. Go back. Aha! We have to go back. We have to go we back. We have to go back. That's more useful. Go. What? Oh. To adjacent lands oh, without my presence. presence. Dang it. Damn it. Undo again. We have to go back. We, the... we have to continue going forward and back. All right. We're canceling the apocalypse. Uh, so I'd rather destroy it than push it, I think. So... So uh, I just don't down. want it. That's sorry. Push that town into D two, and I'll kill it with in the slow phase. Oh right, because you're doing more damage there than probably. That makes them build a city instead, though. Is that okay? <laughs> it's not the town. Hmm. It, they'll build another town. Yeah, because it's one town, one city, so it'll be a town. Oh, that's right. Terror level, and I'll push the explorer there too, if you want. Uh, I have no idea how much damage I'm doing in there. I know it's enough to kill the town. Uh, one second, it's um, two plus one adjacent man, so that'll be two, three, four, five, six, six. damage. Potentially six if that's cascaded. Yeah. If it cascades uh, in the D1, then it'll be seven. Six damage will be three, five. I couldn't kill that explorer as well. Okay, so, he can stay. Uh, he's, I mean, he's not doing anything. Or push him into the sands. Um, it's not up to, I think. <laughs> yeah, I have to push him. 
It's not up to you, John. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather he not be there. So, for like, in case we manage to somehow stop the build. All right, so where do you want to stillness? Is the last I mean, I could stillness D2 so that, you know, Land Thrashes wipes D2, but... Or D5 if you want to avoid the Cascade. Uh, I'm good with the Cascade because it's going to kill one of my presents, so, you know... Okay. More presents, I'm fine with the cascade because it would destroy one of my presents. Wait, what land? Like, what? What is this game where it's like I want this cascade to happen because I want my presence destroyed? Oh man, such a weird game. Well, maybe D8 so you don't lose your sacred site. Yeah. Know. We have to destroy presents anyway. I mean, this presence is going away, right? <laughs> Might as well just take that one. Out. That's true. Yeah, and you may as well D7 since, or yeah, either of them, I guess, are going to get gone. Uh, look at me with sacred sites. That's That's that is kind of interesting where it's like, if we know a Ravage is going to destroy a presence, we might as well just destroy that presence. Which kind of means we can strategically let Ravages happen now. Ooh. I think I don't need this one here. Well, I'm gonna. I have this range two of a sacred site. All this stuff is still within range two of my sacred site here. That matters. Yeah. So I think this one doesn't need to be there. Yeah, that one. That one's redundant. Two fear cards. Remove two Ooh. explorers or a town from a land with Dahan. A. Eh? Um. Does that that stops a build here, right? No, no, it doesn't because of all this. Yeah. Uh, that's just Jason to the sands anyway. So. Yeah. Sand yeah, it's full of full of business. I mean, this lone town up here. I don't know if anything really super matters. Is there a city we can stop? Uh, None of I the mountains so. have a Dahan except for one that has nothing and. Yeah, the Dahan None are not the really in the game. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know, D1 just gets rid of something that's there. Stops them building a city if they explore there, right? Yeah. And if you do um, C5 twice... Do, I do C5 twice? Uh, it is a place where, like, Seamus can actually deal damage, though, and push stuff, so... Yeah. <laughs> Kill one of them anyway. Okay. Um, and one of the, this explorer, I guess. I don't know. There's not many. It's this explorer, yeah. this town, or this explorer. That's like literally <laughs> all the options. Uh, well, the guy in C in C three is dying by Dahan anyway, so. Yeah, yeah. So, this guy. If you want that town yeah. to be there, then this guy. I chose him. Your card number Your two. Card kills all the other ones? No. Defend? Oh, free defense. That won't matter, but we get uh, some energy, I guess. Yeah, I like that energy. Oh, well, I mean, I already have lots of energy. Almost, that almost defends the land where you skipped. <laughs> 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 all right, we are getting a cascade, so it is asking us to click, so I'll click. Here. Bye. So it sounds like right. we're cascading in the Seamus land because yeah. you have more of a uh, limitation on presence. Seamus land. And he loves to blaze. I do like these when we do the base game. It's just <laughs> so... Oh, look, I stopped blowing up all our presents. Excellent. Oh, hey, there's no escalation. <laughs> hey, our plan worked out for them to not build cities in those lands. Also, no escalation and also... Blight damage. Click an element to gain it, don't forget. Yeah, um, I do. Think I guess it's going to be the repeat on Land Thrashes, right? That was the probably the plan. Yes, yes, it was, so I need that. Six damage. Yep. 
damage a lot better than I was fighting. <laughs> Seven damage. Yeah, that one has two blade in it, so it's four plus than the adjacent. I guess we could have like just cascade, cascade, cascade to like increase the damage. <laughs> of this. <laughs> What's the best part of a... That's a uh... dangerous game. <laughs> Free energy. Energy for everybody. Yeah, then you can wipe that town out. I'm going to sneak a uh, minor power. Sure. Uh, and we've almost earned another fear card <laughs> after all that. <laughs> We're doing good in the fear game. Yep. Blight removal. You do have to be careful because you anything with add plant. a lot of blight this turn. As long as it's plant, serpent's usually happy. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> That's me all done. All right. I have the Burned Land Regrows, which can remove a blight from any land, not just with two. If you're uh, in. Is there, yeah, like we're going to choose a place where we can avoid them cascading, like maybe this one. Range zero. Oh, range zero. Why is it the worst? Um. Yeah, I guess it's going to be here, right? There's nothing yeah. happening there now. Uh. And this coastal land is going to ravage. Oh, but I can't reach it. That would have been a good spot. I guess here, right? Maybe. Yeah, or the moon, or mountain one on your board. Or this mountain one. Well, there's a bunch of explorers there, right? So. Yes, but that's they're going to build them. anyways, and. This one here will stop that Ravage from doing anything. Okay. I like that. Don't have, to, don't have to worry about it at all. So board D is kind of good because there aren't yeah. too many double town cities anymore. So before we go into this, I, I'm going to do a quick plug so I can squee at something for you. Uh, this weekend is GaleCon, which is the Irish National Games Convention, which mm. is online this year. But um, I thought you were Scottish. Okay. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jeremy's going to reach to the computer and throttle you. <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> uh, one of the traders makes plushies, and I've commissioned her to make three um, uh, Spirit Island plushies. So I'm okay. getting Hungry Grass, River Surge, Light Sunlight, and uh, Bring of Dreams and Nightmares. Nice. And depending on how well they turn out, I'll commission more of them. Cool. Yay. At first I thought you were going to say you get plushies made of the three of us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hadn't thought of that. <laughs> John Ocean. John Ocean. No. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, yeah, definitely show them off uh, if you have them next week. Uh, it them. probably won't be next week because. Oh, okay, well, whenever you get them, yeah. yeah. But yes, yes, I will show them off. They will be in the Discords as well because I'm pretty sure when, once I put them in there, everybody will go, Squee! Who done that? <laughs> yeah, commission more of them. Everyone has destroyed presents because of the blank card. Yeah. I just wanted to see who had two destroyed presents. Mm. I'm almost tempted to just play Blazer Renewal every turn now. I mean, it's going to be good. The problem is I'm not gaining any other power cards if I do that. Do you need any other power cards? It's pretty sweet. <laughs> do I need anything else? I mean, it's like... Keeping up with the blight card and also like blowing everything up all the time is pretty rad. Like that can almost single-handedly take care of C1. And 
if you reach and grasp me, then I can finish off the cities. I guess there's still going to be explorers there. We could just let's see what happened, I guess. They're going to build, though, so like... They're going to escalate this turn and then build next yeah. turn. Yes, but if they do that, they're going to blight and cascade, and there'll be lots of blight there. <laughs> my major ballot. So they're screwed if you do, and they're screwed if you don't. Well, if we have... <laughs> Whenever you place a presence, right? Yeah. So if yeah. I have you Blazing Renewal in the C1, that's going to be a Cascade thing. But... Oh, that's true. Blazing Renewal is also a huge amount of damage if you put my presence. <laughs> which will, which can kill the Explorers as well. That's true. It'll Cascade, but you know... You'll have three fire happen. showing if you go for fire right there. Okay. Yeah, so I, I don't want to be in fire. C1 then, but I do need to be within range 2 if I'm not already, which I don't think I am. I mean, so. whoever puts their presence... Oh, it's a range of your presence. That's yeah, true, within right? range of my presence, so I have to be somewhat close. Like C... I mean, there's C5 or other places that are pretty safe right now. Wetlands hasn't been touched since the start of the game. I don't know what my other card's gonna be, so you guys can go do sure. things. Uh, I need to check. If I do yeah. rituals, I get a repeat of cost one. Um, so what's that again? I am placing Earth this turn. Oh, you're getting to the crossover. Serpent is waking up. I get to cranky time. <laughs> so where on the board can I place presents? <laughs> it's getting harder and harder. C2. <laughs> C2 would actually be a decent spot for Aegis next turn. Yeah. And Serpent is I'm... permanently rousing in anger. Hmm. I think I am going to reclaim. And you can move presence into the blighted areas. <laughs> like if you move presence into C7, there's a lot of things for you to attack there or other places with buildings. C7. Yep. Okay. Um. Alright, so Blazing Renewal in C1. We'll cascade it like into here. Um, that's gonna, if I... That's gonna get uh, three damage from me, which like kills... The explorers, I guess. I can um, reach and grasp you if you want to do a defend 10 or one damage to each thing or something. Yeah, if you reach and grasp, then my one damage to each can finish off the cities. Or, I mean, I could. Well, I could, you do like, need a sacred site in range two, which I guess that's, would be I would CA. make. I yeah. would make a sacred site. Yeah. I mean, I would have a sacred site when you blazing renewal me in there, though. So. Oh, you I only have not. one destroyed presence. I only have one destroyed presence, right? Oh yeah, if you put in two, then it just auto cascades even if it's in an empty land. It's <laughs> awesome. Is it after each presence that's added, or each effect that adds a presence? I, it's after each. After uh, you add a presence, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, if you add oh, multiple and oh. land at the same time, you do it once. Okay. Okay, so there you go. Question answered. Uh, is there a place I can add presence and, like, do something useful without cascading? That's a question. I guess if we want to do this, then I put it in here, even though it only kills an explorer. I want to do more with my presence add than that, though, right? I guess I could go in here. I don't get the sacred site 
You'll also remove Seamus' presence, but we could undo that. Or you could accept oh, that. <laughs> I get, if I go here, I or destroy the city Or you right place away. the presence first, and then Seamus puts his presence there. He can't put the presence there if I make Blight there. No, he placed... <laughs> oh. Change the special rule, isn't it? Only, um... Oh, didn't he do a moving at one point? He could still move it. It doesn't there. destroy my presence. It destroys... Oh, right. Other. Yeah. Uh, I also am going to get my base power with, with Reaching Grasp. I can do the extra damage I need in there, Lude, so... Okay. That's... I think that's... Oh, except I won't have an... I won't actually have a plant unless I... Either reclaim or hope to get a... I mean, you have Elemental Boon, so we can get me a plant. No, if you reclaim, you won't have a sacred... Set. Oh, but you were... Never mind. You don't oh, have I a sacred set anymore. I you I have all your cards. <laughs> uh, I thought... No, I thought I'd actually forgotten it for the major power that I didn't. Oh, right. Uh, also, well, shoutouts gaining... to me gaining six energy per turn and Serpent gaining one energy per turn and Wildfire gaining zero energy per turn and they still and have more energy than me. <laughs> I'm going to get a major power this turn with plus zero energy. <laughs> uh, do you want to not have me destroy your presence in here, Seamus, I guess is the question. Um, you, you just put it in there. <laughs> one second, let me look at the rest of the board. Because I'm thinking of putting presence in there and gaining a power card. That's what I'm thinking of doing. Yeah. No, that's fine. I'll okay. go back and... Um... I think it's not back too far. There. Go over here. Cool. Then... Oh, I guess you are also okay. reclaiming and moving presence, right? I mean, if you want, you can move presence like into C2 after, right? After I go yeah, there. Yeah, that would actually be a better idea. Yeah, so let's do that. I'll just go back one. Hello, Tommy's cool. First time watching, and you haven't played Spirit Island before, but it looks like the strategy is a fun part of this game. It is. This game is. is huge strategy. Yeah, well, like there's many layers of what's going on here. Like, all right, I'm um, gonna gain the power card first. Winning Major. the game is but one Think? aspect. <laughs> I've got uh, cards I could forget. I have eight energy. I can get play up to like, I could even get more energy this turn if I want to. Clay? Hey, <laughs> hello. Also jungle hungers. Good and stuff. And Wargasm's favorite card of all time. Yeah, that's a card. <laughs> I do like claim. It's a yes. co-op game. So the theme of this game is that we are spirits of this uh, sacred island, and there are explorers from a foreign land that are trying to settle on this island, and we spirits are trying to either kill them directly or give them fear to the point that they decide it is not worth the trouble of staying on this land. I had a sneeze coming in. It's coming again. <laughs> there it is. Oh my god. I hate it when that happens. Uh, I'm gonna do that. Uh, I guess I could claim somewhere. I'm going to claim somewhere. I don't know where. I'm just playing it. Thank you, Tommy. <laughs> oh, and I didn't actually get a plant. I guess I could have picked a card that had plant on it. They Jungle Hungers. Two. Unless I can get a plant from, uh, I guess Jungle Hungers would be really good, wouldn't it? Maybe I should take Jungle Hungers. I just got excited about Indominal Claim. It is good. And when I Jungle Hungy. And when I have you place destroyed presence, it's not actually from your presence track, so it's not helping you with growth. But that like is good for A two. Destroy all of them. It's not otherwise elements that are good for me, but I guess I could clear away this land with trees and stones. That could be good. I'm not dealing with that right now at all. So I just want the plant. That's what I want the most, especially because I'm forgetting a card with plant on it. Seems like you should be able to hit that threshold somewhat easily too. Just two sun, two 
earth to plant, right? Yeah. And that card gives you one of them. Not getting it this turn, but next turn I'll reclaim. Yeah. And maybe start getting energy? I don't know. <laughs> well, if I was to give you a plant from that, that would get you your top tier right hand and eight. Yes, remove two blight from a land. That is a thing I could do if there's a land where that is going to happen. I guess there will be C1, yeah, right? There will be. <laughs> I'm, I'm uh, is it right, rain so. one or rain zero? Oh, you, you're getting grass from him, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Andalabra is a really great company. Uh, let me uh, say that. You. Let me let me be the first person ever to say that. <laughs> <laughs> now, I want to move that into there. So uh, to give a little so bit of background to what's happening here. Uh, the little circular things are our presences, and that designates, like, what land is ours. Uh, then there's these tan circular things that actually, if you zoom in, they look like mushrooms. Those are called Dahan. Those are kind of like local, like, inhabitants. Native islanders. Yeah, native islanders. They're like, you know, they're one with the land, so they're fine. They're not foreigners. We're trying to chase the foreigners away. That kind of sounds terrible when I say it like that, but... Um, yeah, that's what it is. It is what it settlers. is. Chasing the settlers away. Colonists. And then the things that look bubbly, the gray bubbly things, are called blight. And that is a resource that uh, we have to be very careful with because if we put too much blight on the board, then we lose the game because the power of the island is severely weakened. Basically, the blight is diminishing the power of our spirits. Except for Heart of the Wildfire, who loves blight, but... Yeah, it kind of represents damage to the land, whether like it could be like burning or it could be uh, mit like mining or even just farming or things like that that are all like changing the land in unnatural ways. Natural or unnatural, I guess. And then the white tokens represent the different kinds of invaders. The things that look like uh, people holding a flag are explorers. They have one hit point, they deal one damage. The smaller town shaped things are towns. They have two health and they deal two damage. And then the bigger building things are cities. They have three health, deal three damage. Damage is dealt during the ravage phase. Uh, in the bottom middle, I'm gonna steal the mouse for a moment to show that, show this. These represent the invader phases. Uh, because we're playing an adversary that incorporates an extra thing, there's an extra build here, but ordinarily it's ravage, build, and explore. So they ravage a land first. Uh, of the corresponding or matching land type, in this case, jungle. So all the jungle lands are going to ravage. The invaders do damage to the land and to the natives uh, based on the amount of tokens they have. Then they will build in a land type matching this card. In this case, it's coastal lands. So they're going to basically build across all of these uh, things adjacent to the oceans. And then we'll turn the explore card and we'll see where they're going to explore, which is going to place an explorer in that land. Basically, thematically, they're scoping out the land, deciding whether it's worth settling, which they always will because they're selfish. Yeah. And so how it works out is in, in any particular land, they're going to explore it, then build there, then ravage it. But like the phases happen in reverse order during the turn. Yeah. Which can be something that is hard to get your mind around, I think. <laughs> Indeed, yeah. So, um, as spirits, we have a growth phase, which is what we're... Well, I guess we're in the play phase of it, but... Yeah, the um, spirit phase. The spirit phase, which incorporates a growth mechanic, which allows us to build in power, and a play phase where we're playing cards. And then we have a fast power phase, which happens before the explorers do things, where we can do things to the lands in order to prevent bad things from happening. And then we have a slow power phase that happens after the invaders do things, and that's when we can uh, deal with what they just did, clean up, or prepare for the next round. Mm -hmm. That's the basic gameplay uh, presentation of the game. Everything else is text. <laughs> uh, quick question, how far are we from Terra Level 3? Uh, probably Let's just have a look. four cards, I'm guessing, yeah. Because we just entered Terror Level 2 and we gained one. Yeah, so we've earned a fear card. 
we're going to be resolving and we might get to the next card this phase actually we're very likely to get to the next card this phase you've been pretty good at that everything what's the threshold on blazing renewal by the way uh three fire three uh earth three plant i think if you can give me a fire that's more damage but i don't know if i need it actually if you need something else Oh, I guess if you give uh, me, yeah, if you give me the fire, then I can split the damage. Hold you on a second. On air. Hold on a second. We're holding on for one second. If you boon me first, I could have you repeat it, if that would help mm. at all. I mean, yes, that would. unless there's something else we want to repeat, but that seems good. So I need earth and plant. Power up everyone. Um, yeah, and renewal doesn't. You're not gonna get to that probably. Yeah, because I don't have. I need another fire. Actually, I could use that for the moon anyway. Uh, you still you, have you an any. Right. Uh, two. Two. No, we can't get you up to the uh, second level of blazing renewal. Yeah, I could have actually gotten there had I used rituals. I think we we're we have a plan anyways, so we yeah. don't need it. Oh, here. Try moon. That gets me the uh, second level of burn flash and furious pain. Nice. Good. And then I'll go then and repeat re it. And we can yeah, repeat elemental boon so I can get that extra plan. <laughs> Basically, yeah, I mean You want a plant? Is if there's anything you want then go for it. But if you want to give me air and fire, that lets me do some things. Uh, I want full water, so I will get uh, presence play. And yeah. Then... I mean, you do have an any element left, don't... or the did you use it already? Uh, I used that already to get the okay. air. Sure. Yeah, take the water. That's fine. I don't need the other things. So, uh, do if you you're want... gonna give me some, if you're gonna give me anything, give me fire if you don't care what it is, so. And actually that gives you more damage too, right? So. No, someone still has, no, Serpent still has the any. Yeah, you still have an any. Oh, okay. Um. Are you getting the full bottom one? No, I'm if not. If you take a water? Oh, you're short of, you're short of plant. I'm short of a water and a uh, plant. Um, Can we uh, get this? <laughs> yeah, that. That's uh, not the right hand one is. So actually, yeah, don't give me water. You can take the water on any, right? Instead. Then you can give me an air instead of water. Right, yes. So. And that gives me a little more flexibility. Unless there's something for trees and stones that I should be clicking. I don't didn't really look at that. Yeah, you just need a sun and a plant for that. Well, I'm getting a plant, so yeah, maybe. I mean, there's there's no thing I'm doing with it though, right? It just so it, it just moves a defend effect, yeah. So it's not gonna help. And push to Han, but I don't really need them to be anywhere where they are. So then we play this on you. Yeah. So I think plant and air and fire. Then I don't think I don't need that. I'd rather have the air than that. So. So you get air. Yeah. Fire. Then that gives me more damage. Woo! And let me yep. split the damage. Okay. So. Yep. All right. So that looks done. Uh, do you want to go loot? Renewal in C1 is what we're doing, right? I think so. Or renewal to wildfire yeah. into C1. And everything explodes. <laughs> Right, I click the explorers because my other thing can't hit them. And then we cascade. cascade. And then cascade. I might as well grasp you. Alright. This is a family stream, Lude. <laughs> might as well reach out to you. Oh, right. I needed a sacred site for this and I didn't make one. I can just use my firestorm there, though, so it's okay. Uh, I just played this so that I had a fire from it. Uh, trees and stones is going to go here. 
and I also, also have flash fires, which I just played because I wanted to play it. Um, is there anywhere that quicken the earth struggle does anything? I guess it stops a ravage somewhere, right? Like it stops a cascade here or here. Hey, you've got range two on it. So. Yeah. So if probably here because that's going to double no, that. Has it's not going to hit the explorers. It just hits it's town gonna, cities. Defend, I have defend 10. Oh, okay. Well, that stops. <laughs> okay. I see what you're saying. My bad. It's okay. Uh, but we want to kill these, kill these, I think, unless you were going to like, we're not going to do this for two damage. Right. So I was going to do this here. Oh, my mouse went too far. Someone moving the mess on me. Seamus. I wasn't touching it. <laughs> just for just, la just lag, I guess. Oh yeah, I am red right I now. I can do. I have been dropping some frames, but can't do anything about it. All right, and then I can click one more piece. It's hard to see because it's a little slow. Uh, I guess I can kill the town here, and then we'll build a city here. Um, actually, one second. Yeah. There was a. If you killed the uh, explorer on D three, you'd have prevented a build. Ah, this guy. Yep. Yep. Would we rather that or prevent building a city? Actually, prevent building a city probably is better. Okay. I can also use this, but I can do the one damage here. We got Unless a second fear two. card. <laughs> Unless I could prevent two builds, but yeah, I'll take the second fear card as well. That's nice. All right, so. Ravage and jungles. Well, choose anywhere you might lose it because of the ravage. If there is anywhere, I don't know if there is though. It Actually, yeah. Look like gonna... it. I don't want to ruin oh, my presence in D6 because then that ravage would happen. Oh right, yeah. <laughs> uh, I might remove it from D8 because I want to save my presence and see whatever yeah. the wetlands. I guess I'm losing C8 again because I. Don't need that there. I don't think. I guess C one is. I guess they are. They're not building here, right? We killed everything. We yep, did but... kill everything. I like being where there's blood, though. It makes. Me I feel don't different. blame you. It makes uh... me feel at home, and also that's a land where I can remove two blight. So. And I need. I don't need to be there, I guess. But with reaching grass. All right, two fear cards. Gather an explorer into a land with town city or gather a town into a land with city. There, we can block that build now. Yeah. Um, we could move the town yep. in jungle four, C4. Into here? Yeah. Well, before yeah, you like do that, that Gather the explorer in C2 into C4? Yeah. Oh, right. Build. Sure. Yeah, that's good. We'll chain them. And we were doing this guy? Yeah. Cool. Second fear card. Ooh. Hey, we could kill explorers now. Okay. Choosing, you have to choose different lands. We can also arrange Dahan in places where you want them, Lude. <laughs> That's probably the more what valuable Dahan thing. What Dahan are left, though? <laughs> um, It's one damage. It's a different land. It has to be different lands. But we can arrange them into places where, like, they're going to kill things, like, we're going to be able to use them for the coastal ravage next turn and stuff, right? So. We can stop uh, the build in D1. No, we can't. Never mind. C3, we need to put something into because that's going to build, then ravage this turn. No, it's not ravaging. It's ravaging. It's, it's gonna building. Build it's going to build twice, yeah, but it's going to build twice regardless. I mean, having Mordahan there is probably fine. 
because there's going to be a, a town and a city. So then you can, if there's three Dahan there, you can blow it up. Yeah, but that's in my slow phase, so it's not going to help with the uh, oh, that's true. Ravage. But if you can throw a defend on there, to throw your defend four on there. Yeah. Then having because that one would more be Dahan three, in there. five, six. Defend four is not good enough, but. Or no, it will be. Never mind. Yeah, defend, yeah, four, defend is good. four. It's five damage. As I was saying, killing... defend four is good enough. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know where else. Like, we could like kill off explorers like this guy if we want, or yeah. Like, I guess we could like get a Dahan into here by chaining him through, chaining them through here if we want. Get Dahan in here for the ravage. And, yeah, uh, yeah, no, no, that's not Jake. Because they're ravaging here, yeah, actually, so. Yeah. So we can actually bring both of them. Go nice. To that guy, and then go to there. And, and then they won't build the in here because everything is dead. Everything's going to be dead in there. Yeah, because they killed oh, one yeah, there. everything will be dead in there. Oh, my God. Because it's the Ben 10, and everything's nice. dead. It's like we know how to play this game. We <laughs> <laughs> the thoughts. <laughs> there they go and no no blight on that one after the all the first time in like three times, times. <laughs> <laughs> those spear cards are really good all right now there's a lot of buildings in the south that we need to deal with yeah <laughs> uh surprisingly not see there's a lot of blight down there at the moment oh you're gonna blow them up nice also c7 is danger yeah, there's six buildings there. There's no more escalation, they... at least, and they're not going to build there for a while, but it is danger. Yeah. Okay. All right, I have blight That's removal, funny, <laughs> but I'm not going to use that yet. Wow. First weapons card of the game. True. I think that the very... <laughs> no, they, the very first very first card was wetlands. Oh, yeah, wasn't it? It was. Oh, it was. Uh... There was... Yeah. It just... So Book ended phase one and two. There's actually been has there been a Sans card? Maybe I think there hasn't been a Sans card. No. Sans so. is really empty, so probably not. <laughs> yeah. And and that's where I started, and it's like, come on, where's the guys? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the land thrashes. Where's that gonna go? Uh, I, I can do it into Mountain Seven, but there's no adjacent land. Yeah, C3 I think like would be good. A one and two are the best spots. Yeah. Or, is it like? It's not the most damage, but it's like the most. Probably useful spot. Or uh, no, it would be five damage. If you did it in C three, you would have wiped that and stop that ravage but that's i'll be that's able to defend it anyway right with card the healing man that was the plan uh to where c3 oh yeah i think the plan was guard the healing land there yeah what's the black land uh i assume you mean the gray lands those are oh. mountains yeah so let me let me Just... steal the mouse for a moment i'm gonna go to thematic view for a moment just to oh right yeah the alternate balance style this is a bit of a better visual of what is each land these are mountains are these also textured yeah it doesn't look that much textured but um these are mountains and then this is wetlands the thing that's teal and then the yellow is sands and then the green is jungle this is the island in great detail. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so things are smashed. We still can't place presence, only Serpent can. But we gotta absorb more. <laughs> no problem. I like answering questions. Yeah, someone, yeah. someone, I think, actually, no, John literally asked me a question yesterday in my stream, and 
He said, like, do you, are, are you okay with me asking questions or is it annoying? And I said, no, I love questions. I love answering <laughs> things. Uh, because I'm an instructor, by the way, I teach at two colleges. So I am was one with education. Okay. All right. And the burned land regrows. I can remove two blight from any land. And I think there's only one land with... Oh, I guess there's two two with one, with blah, blah, blah. Is there any preference between this one or this well, one? This one. You're not in D5, so that would be a better place. And you do have grass, grass, so you can so reach I it. Can, I can, yeah. What I, I meant is it. you <laughs> you want to have blight in your land, so go for the land that doesn't have blight. Or that doesn't right. have your presence. Then I can put my presence there and destroy Seamus's that he just put there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> More fuel for Ben <laughs> and It's more allows you to get you to your high levels without absorbing too. <laughs> All right, so I'm reclaiming because we're blazing renewal. This is my life now. I mean, you don't <laughs> necessarily have to. We've like really taken care of business, so. Yeah, but I mean, well, like, it's just really good. Totally it's amazingly good, right? Like right. you put it in there, it wipes the entire land. <laughs> if you put my presence in there. So actually, I don't have destroyed presence, do I? Right now. You do. Oh, I do have one. Because have one. of okay. Blighted Island, so. Oh, yeah, there's always going to be one. I am in range one right now. Coastal Ravage. Yeah, that just basically kills that that's entire defended. land. So that's And I don't have any other coastal presence. So. Actually, the coastal ones are actually more dangerous than that land, though. I'm going to put it there to have defense for the next Ravage. Sure. Blazing Renewal. I guess I'm reclaiming also. <laughs> and then I need to defend for... I don't have any power cards in my hand. And if I play Rituals... And get I, a fire for If I get a fire... So eat one of my presences, Seamus. There's... You're overkilling, but sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean... That means that means you could put Seamus's presence there and still kill all the cities. Yeah. Instead of mine. That's and or even your own. We won't have to do a cascade blight, which one second. If I give you elemental grasp, I give you a fire, a sun, and a mountain, you would be able to repeat blazing renewal for free. Oh right, yeah. <laughs> Top tier of your Well the would the, the threshold this? isn't a... Well, I mean, repeating it is awesome by itself, but the threshold isn't a repeat. Anyway, yeah, if I got this repeat, that'd be fun. Yeah, we could do it in C7 and then also in, like, one of the coastal lands, like A2. Uh, which I don't have visibility of, but I can. But you would, you would, if you put your presence into C7 with Blazing Renewal. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Will you have enough energy to repeat it, or do you get to repeat we it need for free? A we need a button that un unrewinds. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm getting a power card, so maybe I'll go first. Yep, go ahead. I guess it's a minor because I don't have a lot of energy. That has a plant on it. And a fire. Those are things I like. I don't need always to have plant, but it just helps me get to my threshold. So. I agree. Uh, okay, go ahead, Seamus. So I want to place presence so I have all the power. <laughs> I'm going to go here. Play four cards now. Serpent is awake! I think I'm going to... This is the home stretch. <laughs> so no, they are coming into stage three. This is a dumb question, because I'm sure it's basically what is this... Like, it's a spirit color thing, but why is uh, my plus six gray and serpents green and wildfires green? Because you have gained energy, and we haven't. I feel like... That was also true when you were already playing power cards. I think because mine is zero, 
that's I so because mine is zero, it never changed. I think that's why. Okay. And that's probably something we could adjust. But basically, it's like it looks to see the gain energy coming in. Mm -hmm. But I didn't get a gain energy because it was zero. So we probably should send like a gain energy zero so that it updates. But you can see once uh, serpent finishes growth, it turned gray because that. Okay. Already happened. Okay. For some reason, I thought it was still green after you played cards. Maybe I was misreading, and it was just that it's wildfire. Showing you had energy that you're going to gain still, so Got that it. you know that you you can do the math and figure it out. Um, and it doesn't really matter when it's plus zero. It's just certainly a little confusing, I suppose. So. Absorb my essence. Or not. <laughs> just be. You rewinding? Yes. Oh, just getting a different card. Yep. And I want to take Ooh. I can do some damage in the fast phase. Oh, lightning. You, you forgot. forgot. <laughs> you, to, you just forgot the card you gained. I, you probably don't want that based on what you said. <laughs> I want to get that card. Take that card out of my trash. Then play that card. Play that card. Oh, where am I in my... Um... I want lots of animals, so that's good for me. I'm not going to get there. Um, so if I absorb essence, I will give somebody else a um, card play. Sorry, a presence play. Presence. Yeah. That sounds good. Absorb my essence. Actually, I don't need it really. When you when I place presence, I deal three damage right now. <laughs> John is the best. I'm the best. I'm the best. Uh, I do. Are you know. getting to your yeah. free major power as well? <laughs> yeah, you serpent. Don't have to your serpent right now still has the green it. plus zero, which is what was. I'll play some me. cards. But yeah. Yeah, it's because you had there's zero energy to gain, is why that says. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I interrupted. Stop interrupting me. Uh. This is annoying. I don't know what we're doing about that. Uh, they are ravaging the coastal lands right now. So, are you going to be attacking there, Seamus? Uh, I'm going to be attacking one of them. What's the? How far are we from a uh, terra level three? Wait one second. No, not that one. Uh, click the fear deck. Three cards. We got so we are. We're gonna get a bajillion fear with blazing We're renewal. Send fear off. We are gonna be getting a lot of fear. Uh, so this is a true fact. It will city. So I'm going to talons. Oh wait, I can't reach into that weapon. So I'm going to talons lightning into a one. Okay. Because that's going to be a big cascade. Yeah, this is going to be the biggest cascade because it has nowhere to go. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we're kind of playing with fire there, but um, psh. I mean, I can defend ten there if I had a sacred site, which I don't. But in theory, I could. Uh, yeah, that's slow. Slow is fine, I guess. Right, this would deal with that land again. So I guess that's what's happening there. And so you can't you can't get A2. No. So A2 might be just happening. Yeah. Uh, but at least it won't be a double double cascade because I'll be able to stop uh, A1. So the cascade can go into A1 and then A6. 
Right. So it's still double, but not. I mean, we yeah. could blazing Super renewal double. into that with wildfire presence going there. It's still going to be double cascade, but I don't know. Oh, like into here to stop them from ravaging. Yeah. Much right. Because it's. I mean, it's not going to stop the build, but it's at least you know. Uh, wait. Does not have to be two from your presence. Yeah, but if I do my if I blazing renewal myself into C seven, then I'll be in yes. range two. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're doing blazing in C seven. I think C seven makes sense because you kill three cities. <laughs> it's just too good. Um. Uh. Seeing... Yes, you just need to have two presence in a land to. Uh... Have a sacred side, Tommy. Oh yeah, we just haven't necessarily done that in a lot of places. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, actually, I have the, all the sacred yeah, sites. Yeah, that's true. You have all the sacred sites. That's how well, you roll. Yeah, actually, Serpent has two sacred sites, and Wildfire is the sacred site. You have lots of sacred sites, but yeah, you see the lands that have like. I'm gonna steal the mouse for a second. The lands yeah, that have that's... like a bit of like sunshine coming out of the presence. That's because there's two presents on there, which designates a sacred site. So, versus a yeah. land that just has one presence, which it's not sacred. It is your land, but it's not your sacred land. Yeah. I guess I killed that guy with my power. Um. This you're playing guard the healing land on. Yep. These are not doing Except anything. Except I'm not in range. One. This Whoops. is taken care of. I'm not. I'm not guarding in a. Wait, where did I put my presence? I could kill that guy. Kill oh, that I put guy. it. Oh, can we? We probably can't rewind, can we? Did someone gain a power card? Oh. Yes. I did. I got tons of lightning. I also. Okay. Did yeah. I can't defend C three because guard the healing land is range one of a sacred site, and I don't have a sacred site. Whoops. All right. Uh, well, right now, they're not killing all the Dahan. Just most oh, of them. Slow. Okay. Uh, I could probably do something there. Um, I could cause a cascade <laughs> and, <laughs> and push the... Uh, push them away and then add more fear and do more things. I mean, I could trees and stones right there, actually. Actually... I... Right? I literally can do that, so... Instead of down here. Oh, you forgot the card that gave a power play. If I played Reaching Grasp, I could reach it. So I'll trees and stones here, which is defend six and also th okay. three damage. So that that's works. done. Uh, then for here, I can just... just they, the thing is, they build it. They're still gonna build there. Yeah. Unless I kill two of the buildings here first, or move them. So that is a thing I can do. At what cost? <laughs> <laughs> At this cost. Uh. Oh, that's gonna be even worse of a cascade because you're gonna put a presence there with blazing renewal. Wait. No, with Blazing Renewal, no. that's done, right? Oh, right. Blazing Renewal's going there, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Then I don't... Then, then yeah, then they're not going to And it won't be adjacent. Here. Yeah, so just destroy the town, and they're not going to build, and then they won't ravage. Okay. Then... They still build here. No, they're not going to build here, because you're blowing everything up there. So I'm going to... Haunts and Embers uh, there. We'll be back in a minute. Okay, we'll kill all your presents. <laughs> Just so uh, uh, Tommy is aware, destroying all your presents also is game over. <laughs> that's true. We're not going to destroy all the presents. Uh, I can, yeah, this can be fast if I have air, so I can take care of this guy so he won't build. That's my three card plays. I guess that's probably good. All right. I don't think if there, I don't know if there's an order that needs to happen for any of this. If the goal is for me oh, to I repeat think... Blazing Renewal, I need to be elemental boonded. Yeah. But. So I think that was the plan. 
Yeah, but, but I don't know what Seamus wants. What was the other Let's element? What... We'll do our other things that we can do until then. I guess it so... would be plant so that there's presence placement, right? But yeah, we could do whatever is independent of that we'll first. We'll just wait for, for Seamus to come back. Yeah. Can I move the mouse? I don't know if what's happening. Okay. Uh, I'm not touching the mouse, and clearly Seamus isn't, well, so I don't know what's happening. Probably I think just, it's just lag. Just lag, lag. Yeah, OBS is red, so it's lag. Flash fries can go here, and Firestorm is killing this guy. Oh, I only have two damage, so he's just building. That's okay. Oh, I guess I... I mean, I could have... I'd rather kill this guy than this guy. He's ravaging and then building, so that's totally fine. Uh, and Haunts and Embers I was going to do here, unless there's a better spot. I think that's the spot, though. Like, that stops a build because of what's going on there. And actually, can I send them in here? Is there enough damage? There might not be. Um, I'm I mean, not taking out explorers, but they're not doing anything in there anyway. That's true. They just need to go somewhere, right? So they may as well go in there. Sorry, Seamus' presence. <laughs> uh, and you were guarding the healing land. I guess you don't actually need to play that, but you can remove light somewhere. I mean, was my plan to... Have oh, I guess you can off? remove a no, blade not, that's because gonna I'm not getting fire. Yeah, yeah. Aren't you blazing? Right, you're gonna blazing renewal into. I guess you need the you need the threshold on it from elemental boon. I think. Yeah, I'm not getting it though. If Seamus is getting the plant, because I need a fire for that. But that's fine. I could still do something. Well, no, like absorb that. essence is gonna could get you the fire if that's all you need. All right. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I don't know. Uh, Although I think you're going to absorb your essence so that you would be able to place a presence in the slow phase. Maybe. But I mean, like, it. I don't know. I think that getting the kicker on Blazing Renewal is what we want, right? Because that kills the cities. Otherwise, the cities don't get killed. Yeah, yeah, actually. So, uh, you want. So it's Sun and Earth to get the high tier sun? innate. Sun, fire. Earth, and Fire. And then Fire to get the Blazing Renewal kicker. And then I will take the green from my... Um... Yeah, you oh, have yeah. an Yeah. 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 Yeah, so uh -huh. you can still absorb me. I'm going to murderize here so it does ravage. And then I'm going to eat one of your... Uh, one of your... Um, Presence. Is it me or John that we're going to eat, though? Do you oh, need to absorb yeah, loots? Um. Because whoever you absorb is going to place a presence in the slow phase, and Wildfire's presence does damage. And I think it can be... This one, well, C2, I think. Doesn't, well, maybe C1. There's nothing going on over there. Uh, and you're getting an element of your choice? Uh, plant, unless you want something else. Uh, I don't get this. Is just oh, you don't get it. It's just me. So, well, then I'll take plant, I think, because I don't quite get to seven fire, which would have been cool. I already used that power anyway. Okay. All right, now it's all me. So gift of strength. So what is that? Repeat six. So then I can blazing renewal twice. Blazing renewal myself into C seven. And then I can take out the cities. And, and one explorer. Explorer. And blazing renewal there again to finish oh. off it. Oh, I accidentally it. I accidentally hit an explorer that was hidden. <laughs> oh. It's too many explorers. Yeah, there's an explorer right here that's guarding the city, so I'm gonna <laughs> ignore him. <laughs> and then kill him. And then kill him. 
one fear card away. Oh, wow. We are trucking along. And then... Can't reach that. Blazing Renewal into... But now what? Well, we can do, or we can do Serpent me. now, right? Because this has the kicker of four damage, which will take out the yeah. city. Oh, but it's yeah. not going to do enough. Oh, no. What, oh, yeah, yeah. It will take... Oh, what? The land. Okay. Explores. So, yeah. Yeah, get, get Serpent in there. And generate a pile of fear. Nice. So we are three fear off getting to um, killing all cities, and there's only one city left on the board. One the city on the board. Yeah. Two. Are there two? There's two. We in are going to build a town here. Oh, there's two. There's two in the same land. So I guess guard the healing land there. What? Was there a blight there? There was a blight there, but also there's two adjacent towns, okay. and they're going to build there and then ravage. So. Right. I did, something. did at least remove the fight, so. Yeah. We uh, must destroy a presence. Okay. Can I go first? Because I know which one I'm doing. All of the coastal ones should be safe now. Yeah. They're going to high immigration build in, like, a couple spots, but next turn, but... Uh, I guess I'll destroy... Loop. This one going on down there now not even a build for the wet the wetlands are like very quiet now <laughs> i probably want to stay there i'll destroy that fear cards two fear cards hey one damage, damage dahan. per dahan nice i mean they're already dead in c3 yeah they're already dead in d1 uh, oh, it blocks a build, right, in C5. C5 blocks a build. Yep. And, I mean, there's really no other land with Dahan and Invaders. So... This Ravage kills them. Yeah, they're, they're already dead from the Ravages, so click them anyways, I guess. And then maybe we earn a new Fear card during the Fear Step. That's fun. <laughs> we get close. We get one away. It still could happen. Mm -hmm. So click on those and destroy the towns, and we might get a new, another fear card, right? It's unlikely, but it could happen. Yeah. Oh, no, just nope. remove. So. Removing an explorer or town from an inland land. Yeah, but... uh, on my board, 8 5, that stops the build. Yep. Stops the build here on these both of these. Yep. Yeah. So much for that high yeah. immigration build, eh? Mostly higher grant, high non immigrations. Even D2 is stopped because they destroyed that town. Right? That was going to happen, and now it isn't. It didn't. And only two builds. That was only almost nothing happened. Two out of 12 <laughs> builds happened in an England game. And they explore, but we're going to win before they yeah, get a just, turn, I think. Just take out the two cities and we win. Yeah, because we, we just need one more fear, right? And we get and fear from taking the city, out the city, can... yeah. Can Serpent do it? Serpent's not in the land. But Serpent rouses! But Serpent's not in range one. I can, range one? I can destroy one by putting presence there. Oh, right, we have a slow Serp phase also. Yes, Serpent wakes in power. Or, sorry, yeah, get... Serpent wakes, but it's... No one's I in range get... one of D8 yeah. <laughs> except for me. <laughs> can't get there. We're not close enough. Oh yeah, you got an any. Does that any do anything? Gives a major power yeah. without forgetting? Whoa! Yep. Yeah. There is a bug where that might not work right now. Can I have the okay. mouse, please? Yep. Uh, okay. So, I can't reach there either. It's very laggy. Yeah, I'm ready. try. Yeah, the uh, drop frame rate has increased in the past 30 minutes. We were at three per 2 to 3 percent for most of the game. Now we're getting at 4.5 percent, so internet's been getting steadily worse.
I guess I'm just gonna go here. I'm gonna, am I gonna go to plus one energy? I don't need it though. I just need four card plays. I'm gonna go here. Boop. Terror level three. Thanks for moving that blight from there before. <laughs> I can remove a blight from that spot. Uh, so yeah, we didn't get the uh, major power from yeah. that. So that's a bug that's that uh, is going to be fixed in an update soon. Well, because he got the that's element in the middle job. of it, and it should have triggered yeah. it, but it didn't. Okay. Yeah, because the element happened in the middle. It didn't do it right. Got it. Okay. Um... It has been reported and fixed. But I think we're... It hasn't been fixed in a beta build yet, actually. It's just internally still. I mean, on this is dungeon. the beta build, so clearly it's not in the beta. <laughs> yeah. Well, we've been uh, working on a one-deck dungeon update. And so that's been the focus right now. But we'll get a Spirit Island and Sentinels updates out very soon with bug fixes. But don't so. you have a bajillion programmers on your team, John? A bajillion yeah, programmers a that you can divide into workers. different groups? <laughs> <laughs> Rituals no, of seven, Destruction, seven eh? people, So... Oh, oh yeah, you could. You I'll could do it in the land the that has. Oh, I can't because I'm not in range one. Damn it! And there have no. There has to be Dahan there. Oh no, right, you are. I was looking at C one well, or C three or whatever that number is. Do it on D one. I guess you can't get the bonus fear, but you can at least destroy the town. Yeah. We just have to destroy cities. So who wants oh. to do it? I mean, I'll put presence there and deal three damage. <laughs> And uh, I can throw out another... Blazing Renewal plus Hot Wildfire gets it. Actually, Blazing Renewal with Wildfire does it. This is happening. Can't stop me. <laughs> Sorry, Lude. <laughs> it's okay. I have to gain a power. Oh, look, Encompassing Word is back. Encompassing word and cards that don't do anything. That has plant on it. I'll take it. All right, go ahead. Anyone else? Well, uh, reclaim. I mean, talons of lightning. <laughs> yep. Does the job. Steam vents almost does the job. There, I almost got to the high innate just by myself. Nice. Actually, no, I yeah, can, no, I can't do, I can't play any more energy, so. I can get to my seven innate, seven fire innate also. The question is, is Serpent going to get to its damage all in lens? <laughs> Not that we're gonna get to that slow phase. Serpent has entered the game. <laughs> he only has 14 energy. Is that really going to be enough? No, no, it's not. <laughs> uh, what do I need here? One, two, and that, 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 that. So, uh, <laughs> one, two, oh, you two, also need seven five. energy, but you get plus one energy by playing our plus three energy from absorb essence. So you just need to have four left. <laughs> uh, I six fire. I have four in play. No, I can't do it. I can give you an energy, but... Uh... No, I need six energy to be able to play... Um... How many ennies do you have? Just one? Two. Two. Um... Ennies yeah. are the annual awards that are given to the spirits uh, in a special <laughs> ceremony. Call them 
the you Ennies. Have two Ennies. You have uh, four I fire. If you do both six, fire, seven, you need another enough. Earth. I mean, you could probably do, you could wait, do no, Elemental just, Boon twice and like, stuff. This does it, doesn't it? No, wait, what am I talking about? We're not about? getting to the slow phase anyways, so... <laughs> Yeah, no, if you... I mean, I can also have you repeat boon. So it's, like, trivial, but... Yeah. But you have two any, so it's two fires. And... Yeah, I think it would have been... It, we could have done it. We're not getting to the slow phase, though, right? So... No, but... Yeah, it's... it's We're definitely... It, it can happen. And it would have happened. I'm gonna try to play as many cards with fire on them as I can. But actually, I can't play enough cards... Uh, oh no, I did play enough cards. Except, yeah, in a land with Blight. I never actually used this power. When a land with Blight Wave Presence, push Aldahan, destroy all invaders. All, destroy all invaders. That does I could it. use that here. <laughs> I, w I, want, I want to see that happen. I haven't seen that happen yet. I'm doing that. <laughs> so Serpent, on, Serpent foolishly added a presence there. <laughs> I want to... Assign damage that like that so that click a land to perform the power. Oh, it's I can do it in any land. It doesn't have to be in the same land. <laughs> so I can pick another land. Like, like this. And then just like this happens. Destroy all invaders in the land. We like fire. Oh, and we have to cascade. Take so one of my use, presents. So I just click back and forth and back and forth and we get a sacrifice victory, right? Yep. <laughs> that would do it. <laughs> Game over, victory! victory! We could have won like 10 different ways. <laughs> but yeah, I think back when I said like it's victory lap, it was pretty clear we were winning. <laughs> yeah, no, it was, Even it was definitely victory, but it was just could we get that threshold for funsies? Yeah. That turn where they just didn't ravage because we stopped it all was like the end for them. So. All right, I'm gonna kick my co my hosts here, just to maybe save oh, sure. internet bandwidth for the very end. I oh, thought you but were I guess you can't see the all, statistics the then. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, if Parsec is the culprit for all the internet issues, then we want to minimize Parsec's uh, bandwidth. Yeah. Bandwidth. I'm also gonna quit the Parsec program, and we'll see if that helps. We should we should like see if Parsec has some more secret options that. Because we don't need to have that high quality. It just needs to be like good enough. Yeah, yeah. We'll do that afterwards. Um, what was our points? That' what I wanted to know. Yeah, I, I kicked you before. We, uh, we got 50 <laughs> points. 10 from victory. 35 for five times difficulty. Seven. Eight for the four remaining invader cards. Four for the 14 surviving Dahan. And minus seven for the 22 blight on the island. <laughs> Thank you, Wildfire, for all that. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> From the statistics. <laughs> oh yeah, this is the first time I've played Wildfire and Serpent uh, since its release. We finally have statistics on this. Yeah, Yay! So you're undefeated. I mean, six zero out, vital really strength, one zero Wildfire, one zero Serpent, seven zero England, which is actually a slight lie. Twenty four twenty energy. Actually, was that England game while it was still in the beta? Is that why it's not on there? Or was John hosting? Yeah, no. maybe I was hosting. No, it wasn't. It was definitely when I was hosting. I don't remember. It or, might well, have been before. The, sorry, the game from two weeks ago that we lost, uh, I think that was John hosting. But I'm thinking about right. there was a game with Frenzy where we... Right, the first game you lost? The first game that I lost on stream uh, because we forgot about, you know... It's possible that was before England was in the game. Yeah, like, that's what I was probably. thinking of is why that's that's there so you know because of all of these convenient factors i'm still undefeated Woo! <laughs> also thank you tommy's cool i thought my comment was funny and these guys were just the worst i was more focused <laughs> on explaining to seamus how he could get it after he had given up on it but whatever we removed eight blight in that game so that's cool thanks wildfire actually how much did we add Ad added blight versus uh 25 <laughs> we added 25 <laughs> yeah blight. Add more blight. I'm playing. I'm playing with Maggie. Big Maggie energy. <laughs> we generated 118 um, fear. 
Also, five animals John? were gained in this game. Yeah. Uh, a possible interesting statistic is blight added by invaders and blight added by spirits. Mm. I just, so you just really, just... what you really want is the entire number to go up, right? So. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and well, also, well, for yeah, those of you. Blight added by uh, invaders, blight added by wildfire, blight added by other spirits. <laughs> it should just be absolutely, completely, 100%. Um, what's the word? You need to be as pedantic as possible. Blight added yeah. by spread of rampant oh, green. Granular. Blight it's added. Granular. granular is the word. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Animals gained by uh, river surges and sunlight. There's Sunshine gained by river surges and sunlight. All of that stuff. Well, similarly to how we, um, like, I think in the Sentinels update, we talked about how, like, we could do, like, a super detailed stats thing. Uh, that would be really neat, but also a ton of work. We could do something like that for Spirit Island as well. Uh, it would be a ton of work and be really neat and serve no purpose. Maybe someday <laughs> and, and sell no copies of the game, so be very much a loss leader or whatever. So yes, exactly. Not a priority compared to like expansions and you know maybe multiplayer, mobile, you know things like that that actually people want more than it would be neat if stuff. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, not. I mean, I want the neat stuff, of course. I love that stuff, but uh, so we'll see someday, maybe. Uh, cool. So I think uh, that's been a pretty good stream, almost three hours. But uh, we. Uh, it was a fun game. But oh yeah, time how time went backwards today. Oh, has the daylight saving changed in Ireland? Yep. Yep. I think Iris doesn't change for another couple of weeks. Uh, I think, at least in the U.S., it's not for... It's going to be on November 1st, which is one week. I double-checked that yeah. today. Canada follows the U.S. It all should be abolished, but... so it, Yeah, so exactly. It I mean, I'm totally fine with the uh, ending of Daylight Savings, just not so much the uh, beginning of Daylight Savings. The EU is ending Daylight Savings time with uh, this changeover. Oh. Except our... Oh. Well, that we sucks. decided we we'd keep daylight savings to keep in uh, in track with Northern Ireland because the UK is getting rid of daylight savings because oh. they're no longer part of the EU ain't they? Don't have <laughs> dang <to>. it <laughs> dang it come on come on guys uh, Mr. Vexar I uh, wanted to mention uh, Branch and Claw is in development so uh, expansions will be great exactly yeah, we're looking forward to that we were actually chatting a lot this week about uh, some of the complicated things that are in Branch and Claw, but also super interesting things. Like, Second Wave is like a scenario, but not really a scenario in a digital yes. game. It's almost just like mm. a new game mode instead of a scenario. So that's something we'll, we're going to talk to Eric about um, as well. So, yeah, lots of uh, interesting stuff. Also, all the tokens. All the tokens. Yes. All there the are many tokens. tokens, and I'm going to have to figure out how we can get them to fit on the map that is already <laughs> gets overcrowded all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Event cards are a very interesting thing that I'm looking forward to. Yeah. Uh, we want to consider just being able to stack them with a number on top of how many there are. Yeah. So I mean, what that's, what we, that's what we do with the 2D map. So we could potentially yeah. do that with the 3D map as yeah, well. Yeah, the 2D map is actually what's showing right now with the details. And you can view this map during the game instead, and it con consolidates all the similar icons into one. So, so it shows two explorers in this mountain, three explorers in this mountain. It shows three serpents' presence over here, um, yeah. two Dahan Except over here. there's actually no room on the 2D map either, really, right now, because you could have uh, a Dahan with six health, a Dahan with five health, a Dahan with four <laughs> health, a Dahan with three health, a Dahan with two health, a Dahan with one health. You and they have all have the different in different one land icons, if you wanted yeah. to. <laughs> and they have to be visible separately from one And another. you could have so a there. city with four health, a city with three health, a city with two health, a city with one health, a town with three exactly. health. <laughs> so yeah. in the worst case, it's it's ridiculous. Uh, but in the average case, it's okay. Um, yeah. and in it the frenzy the case, case, it's not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. But it's uh, some interesting... Uh, difficulties there that uh, that's what we live for is figuring out stuff like that <laughs> excellent anything else all right 
I think I uh, just want to mention uh, to make sure everyone know that the big sales going on on Steam, uh, all of our games are on discount, a lot of them on really big discount. Um, uh, the sales have been going really well. We've been really happy with uh, how Steam's presenting it. It's like a whole new like website for on Steam about digital tabletop. Uh, it's really cool. Check out our games, check out all the other games. Uh, it's a really cool um, aspect of video games that uh, you can play all these digital board games. Uh, on Steam and on mobile. So uh, make sure to check all that out and uh, play games. Have fun. Indeed. Like all right. So that was Spirit Island Saturdays. We do this every Saturday. We always play Spirit Island, except for the week that we didn't play Spirit Island uh, because of the Sentinel's six year anniversary, but it was totally a worthy occasion. Uh, every Tuesday, we have Handelabra Live with John, who is below, and sometimes Jeremy, two of the leads of Handelabra that like to demo content before it is publicly available. Every Thursday is Dolphins Dive with myself, who likes to dive strategically into all of the Handelabra products and discuss various strategies that can improve your game or mine sometimes. Spirit on Saturdays on Saturday, and uh, Tales from the Archive every Sunday at 7 p.m., for either storytelling sentinels or fun sentinel thematic games. Um, sentinels of the Multiverse, Bottom of the Ninth, One Deck Dungeon, and Aeon's End are available on Steam, iOS, and Android devices. Spirit Island, this game, is available on Steam for the time being and will be available on iOS and Android tablets later in the year. Um, and we mentioned Daylight Savings, so for those of you that have Daylight Savings ending this week, do bear in mind that streams will be one hour later than what your time normally says, since yeah. all times are based on uh, Eastern Daylight Time for now, Eastern Standard Time after next week when the U.S. enters, um, or when the U.S. leaves Daylight Savings. But until... If you are a dog or cat, you'll be confused. If you are a human <laughs> and understand clocks... You should be able to figure it out. Oh, I thought you were going to say, if you're a dog or a cat, you'll be confused. If you're a human, you'll also be confused because daylight saving sucks. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> Just but, make sure to adjust your clocks. Anyway, <laughs> it's been great fun tonight, and we'll see you all next time at Handelabra. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs>